Oh man, my ninjas, my ninjas. It. The fuck is going on? How you doing? How you feel? What's is going? What's is? <laughs> what is going on? Nothing, man. Chilling. Yeah. Yes. How was your weekend? Uh, pretty decent. You know, didn't really do too much. You know, let, let off, off a- fireworks. Yeah, let off a little bit of fireworks. You know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let the whole fucking bit. block off, nigga. <laughs> block the block down. <laughs> Mm. Niggas supplying the hood with the works. Mm. Yeah. No, it's chill. Went to my boy house and drank a little bit and fucking uh, lit up some fireworks. Word, word. That sounds, that sounds enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, nothing crazy. We ain't do nothing. Play little dots, you know, have a few beers. <laughs> you play, wait, mm. that don't go together. <laughs> <laughs> what, dots and beers? Darts and beers? <laughs> yeah, that, it literally go together. <laughs> we did it. You can't be drunk with a dart in your hand. <laughs> I mean, you can be because I did it. <laughs> I'm with it if you with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make sure nobody in front of you, nigga. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but when right. you start drinking and mix, you mixing beers and liquors. Possibly, you know, I don't really trust most people with I mean, in their hand while they I, drink. I feel you, but you also don't have to like you know get blackout drunk. True. Yeah, you right. There's levels to that drunkenness. <laughs> you maybe don't black out and play uh, dots. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a little buzz. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice, nice little bus, throw some dogs. I'm, I, yeah. I, I, I fuck with it. I fuck yeah, be outside in the sun and whatnot. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. It was nice this weekend too. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't super humid. It was just nice and hot, but not like crazy. Mm. I was surprised because all week it was like raining and sunny, yeah. raining and sunny. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this shit. It's, this shit kind of worked out the way it was supposed to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bob alive. You. Yep. What's going on with you, man? How you doing? Uh, nothing really. Nah, nothing. Nothing went on. Nothing went on. Uh, I bought a new computer desk. That's about it. A computer desk? Yeah, cause the one I had is it was, that shit was too short. <laughs> <laughs> I needed the spaces. Oh, we know this, I man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I got too much shit now. Bobby Bucks. Bobby, Bobby Bucks. Bucks. <laughs> Bobby War Bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> nah, nothing crazy happened. Not that I think of it. No. Yep. Um, I think the only wild thing is that uh, my other sister is pregnant now, which is it's not which really a surprise, one? but huh? Which one? The one I like? Uh, no, Relax. Relax. nigga. Wait, which one? Uh, wait, which one you like? <laughs> <laughs> wait, which one you like? Uh-huh. The one that was in his Instagram video? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um. <laughs> Let me see. Nah, this is the youngest one. The youngest okay. one. Like she's like in her twenties though. Nah, she's cool. Are you like disappointed or like? Nah, nigga, like it's just, it just shit or something. Nigga, I got bad nephews, man. Bad nieces and nephews. You got, you got mad brothers and sisters with the show. I know. Bro. It's mad at y'all, so that's bound to happen, <laughs> yeah, nigga. But but I know it's cool. Yeah. Like twelve of y'all, so it'll, and of yeah. course it's just gonna be like yeah, you got much. You got times that, like, so it's about to be twenty four nieces and nephews, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. <laughs> like, you got like three football teams worth of family. Nigga. Yeah, pretty much. Man, yeah, niggas out here. But you know, I guess that's good. Congrats, new life in the world. You know. Uh, oh, how was your weekend and shit? Yeah, you happy. But okay. Whatever. You don't seem that you don't seem that excited about it. You don't seem that joyful. Yeah, because it's a normal thing at this point. <laughs> like how many times you keep going through that? <laughs> but it's her first kid, right? Yeah. So she gotta be super happy about she that. Gotta be happy. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so fuck her happiness. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. I don't know how you deal with that. You probably used to it by now. But yeah, much. Oh, you still have kids. I don't. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do, bitch. No, but actually, like you'll be though. happy. You are gonna help, and then you be like, "I'm an uncle." Yeah, you be happy and shit, but it's like that's my sister. Yeah, but I actually like their boyfriends. That's a, that's the thing, <laughs> which is rare. Yeah, yeah, that, that that actually helps. Yeah, I would assume that would help if yeah. only I knew what that was like. I should have. Yeah. You never liked mm. any of your boyfriends. <laughs> No. You know, it's, it's crazy because it was my father's well, birthday, uh, July the third, but they did it the fourth, saying happy birthday. I I should I should have seen that shit coming though, because no. her boyfriend's family was there, uh-huh. and I was like, who the fuck is oh. this? And then <laughs> and then what, what what gave it away that I wasn't thinking about it was when she was like, all right, everybody go to the front and sing happy birthday. I'm like, who the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> I ain't never seen you before. <laughs> you telling me what to do? This bitch in my family. <laughs> Never house. You didn't tell me what to do. Wait, yeah. So wait, they announced it at the thing yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, okay. They didn't do like the whack ass gender reveal. No, shit. no, no. It ain't it was probably shit. too early for gender shit. reveal, right? Yeah, it was. Like, but it, it was my yeah, it was my father's birthday. So with the, I kind of like how they did do it. They gave my father a gift, mm-hmm. and they had yeah. like the ultrasound in it with the Aww. baby clothes in it. I'm like, oh shit! All right, Aww. that's that's beautiful. Bendito. Hey, bendito. All right, that's all fucking bendito. sweet. So cute and <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> Kiss yeah, I'm not. Oh, I should have said. Stop crying. Help. <laughs> she ready for babies, nigga. <laughs> That's right. all they gonna do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> uh, how was your weekend? I didn't do shit. No, I didn't do yeah, like yeah, and barbecue, grill, go get the burgers or nothing. Uh, nah. Mm-hmm. Right, my girl went to a barbecue. She bought me some shit back. Um, I watched Hamilton. I uh played Pokemon. I watched One Piece. Oh, lit. Watch a bunch of anime. Mm-hmm. I fucking hate the Funimation shit because now they're telling me to sign up for like a premium thing, and yep. I'm so like 15. I'm like, dog, I don't want to do this. And then, but my you only, might. Yeah, my my what? only other Why? option is, is is to go on Hulu and watch it subbed. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> for convenience sake, because unless you want to like watch it on your laptop or something. Yeah, because I was like playing Pokemon and watching One Piece at the same time, so I was yeah. like, mm-hmm. and like just turn back. But now I gotta actually read and I, yeah. I figured out. I don't know. links, man. That kiss uh-huh. anime, man. Kiss anime. Oh, kiss anime? Oh, yeah. I might have yeah. to do that. You know, Bobby hit you that illegal? Yeah. Gotta do it. Nah, yo, shout out to the <laughs> listeners. They be hitting us with mad links for shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm mad appreciative of it. <laughs> um, Yeah, but other than that, I didn't really do shit. I just, you know, was chilling, drinking, watching shows, and I'm enjoying not working. I am, I am taking my health and rest a little more serious. So mm-hmm. that's what I've been doing. When I have an opportunity to not do shit, you're not doing it. Shit. Mm-hmm. I'm not scheduling no interviews. I'm not working on other shit. I'm not, you know, jotting down ideas. I'll just have a blank mind. I just chill. I don't really do too much anymore. So I'm trying to get back into that mode. Like I do still work eight now and then. Like I'll do like an hour worth of shit and then take like a six hour break. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's that's been my life the past like fucking three months. Uh, I did work. I deserve this break. <laughs> like your word. Like, like I'll do some shit. I'll type up some shit. I'll edit some shit. I'll, I'll email some people. Then I'll just sit on my ass and just play Pokemon and hatch eggs. <laughs> That's all I'll do. This nigga. All I do. I'm not losing no. Fucking I know this nigga. I tell you niggas. I know this. I am. Tell you not, niggas, man. I'm not gonna win this time. I can feel I it. Tell you niggas, man. <laughs> Anybody want this fucking smoke now? I got time now. <sighs> Shit, I, gotta, <laughs> I can't I just don't got the fucking patience for all that hatching shit. Dog, I don't yeah, either, but it's like it's like mindless. <clears throat> like it's like it don't take much. Like I beat the DLC, I yeah. beat the regular game. The only thing is now is to compete online. Yeah. And, but it's a, and I and I halfway do that. Yeah, but it's mm-hmm. annoying trying to find the right nature and then Get the skill that you need to, to do that shit, and then EV train to some bitch. Well, I mean, the EV training is the easy part. It's the fucking finding the right nature and all the other bullshit, and hatching right. forty five million eggs. That shit don't take me that long, honestly. Nah, no, oh, like, I, I, I got the ditto, so it don't take me long at yeah, all. Yeah, me too. I, I think I, I think I got it down to a science where, like, if I don't have the right nature, I just hatch eggs, and then like it just happens to pop up like soon. It don't, yeah, it don't yeah, it'll pop up eventually. So then, then you can do the IV. <laughs> The IV shit is good, and then you then you do the EV training. And I'm like, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. that's easy. You know how to get a online battle. You know how to get a million current currency in like ten minutes. Yeah, use money, Mitch. Money, Mitch. Who that? Oh, uh, the meow outfit they gave you as a gift. Nah, not that. that. That takes too long. Oh. That takes too long. What you do is um, you do the time skip. You do the day skip at the um, at the den at the raid den. Keep doing it. Keep doing it, and then you find mm-hmm. one of these. The dude with the Pokemon shit on that be selling you shit with the watts. Mm-hmm. You buy the yeah. luxury balls. Oh yeah, the luxury yeah, balls. Yeah, you shit. buy buy seven seven hundred, and then you sell it, and then mm-hmm. they'll give you like a million, and then you just buy all the um the protein, and then yeah, that shit is easy. Uh, yeah, that shit is that, that shit ain't yeah. that hard. That's the that's the easiest way to do it. But still, you know, I just got the patience for that shit. <laughs> I, I am eighty percent done with what I think in my head I have to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think I'm almost there, and I'm 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 ready. I've been testing these niggas out online, undefeated online. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose them. <laughs> Yo, next time we do this shit, bring my belt. <laughs> I'll bring it. Bring my belt. <laughs> I'll bring it. <laughs> I'll bring it. 
Oh man. Um, let's see. All right. So SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, wherever the fuck you get your podcast, we are there. Three Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com. If any comments, questions, or concerns, if you want your question answered in the Ask a Ninja segment, you can reach us there. That's Three Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com. What the fuck is this like? Was it? I don't know what that means. Might, <laughs> might explode. It might not. I don't care. But we, <laughs> um, yeah, questions. And then uh, sign up for the newsletter. Go to three ninjas podcast.com to sign up for our newsletter. You can check out our merch. New merch coming soon, dropping at the end of the month. Um, sign up for our newsletter. Uh, consider supporting us on Patreon. Everything goes back into the show. That is greatly appreciated. Uh, go to our YouTube, like and subscribe to our videos. Uh, we put up a new No Smoke every Friday. Uh, you get random vids from the show. You get the live video shit of this on the uh, the YouTubes on Wednesdays or whenever the fuck it drops. I don't know. It just drops and mm-hmm. just have your bell notification on. Um, what else? I think that's it. Let me see. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Follow us on Spotify and the Apple Podcasts. Leave us a rating and review and all that good shit. Um, Do you post it on SoundCloud anymore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's where it goes first. It's where oh, it goes yeah. first. Oh. And then it generates to everywhere else. Yeah. Okay. So when it goes to SoundCloud, it just boop, boop, boops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I think that's it. Um, Question time. Ninjas got answers to mm-hmm. your uh, questions about life. Yo, send us some relationship shit, please. Relationship. Like, send us some different shit, <laughs> please. <laughs> you can send it like we get like we appreciate the nerd questions and like the you know the sci-fi questions and all that shit. But we want like we can answer real shit too. We are humans outside of this nerd shit. <laughs> well, some of us are. Well, I guess Hesh. Right? <laughs> Hestrovert. <laughs> Hestrovert. <laughs> yeah, I might make that a real shirt. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that, that wasn't real. You just mocked it up that quick. Yeah. Oh damn, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you had that shit in the top because you was you responded with that shit way too quick. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. Yo, that was funny. I do this. <laughs> when, <laughs> like when I say I work for an hour and take a six hour break. And yeah. I, I create mad shit and I keep like two of them. <laughs> two of them. So when a nigga did the shit, my mind sparked. I was like, okay, got it. Do 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 do, and then I did it, and then it was like, here you go. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my, my my fucking brain worked crazy. I don't know. That's funny. But um, question time, man. What we got? So this question comes from Sat in the Discord group chat. S A T T Sat. Sat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And their question goes, what DC and Marvel characters' personalities would you pick for each of your co-hosts? Let me Um, see if you guys can think of anything. Your Marvel, would I pick as a podcast co-host? First person that comes to mind is Mystique, because I could have any guest I want on my show. Oh, no, I thought he meant, like, what personalities would, like, you think that we we match? Okay. Um... What personalities do we match or do what person? Yeah, do you so like yeah. who do you think oh, Bobby okay. like who do you think is like a DC equivalent for Bobby? Oh. Um I'm gonna go Batman because he got the plan Batman. for everything. <laughs> yeah, what? I think I know how to take all of us down. <laughs> yeah, for real. Bobby got the plan for all things. Like Doctor Strange of the group. He might be the Donatello, he might be the you know the, the brainiac. Yeah, Bo- yeah. Bobby's brainiac. <laughs> <laughs> Words. <is> brainiac. Um <laughs> and you Wolverine, nigga, because you're angry all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think <laughs> Nah, but I, I don't I don't want to be from Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, why not? You don't want to be from the six? Nah. Okay. Six, six, Damn. six. Why are you gonna be running through the six with your wolves? I don't I'm calling none of y'all my wolves. <laughs> oh wait, he meant people? <gasps> wolves. What is the six with my you know how this shit go? Yeah. Wait, you, you thought he was talking about hoes? No, nah, I thought he, thought he, like he was talking his about woes. his woes, like his it's sorrows. Like his personal sorrows and nah, shit. Nah, woes, woes. I know, I, I know woes. I know. I just fucked with you. I was going to say, nigga, you. <laughs> <laughs> Running through the port, the port with my woes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know how to go. I don't want to live anymore. <laughs> I don't want to live anymore. Mm. Don't want to live no more. <laughs> um, DC Marvel characters that were picked for each of your co-host hmm. um who would Hesh, Hesh would be like Nightcrawler or something Nightcrawler was never really <laughs> happy 
like he, he was always like very despondent. He was like he was just really like I don't know my mom. The world hates me because I'm blue. Damn. Um. Hmm. That's a hard one. Never actually thought about that. But who I would want as a co-host if I had to pick? Yeah. Like maybe like a Deadpool and like a Psylocke. No, well, uh, maybe like. <laughs> Deadpool and who's a very opinionated woman? Opinionated <laughs> Storm. <laughs> she like Hulk. Wonder Woman. She Hulk. Yeah, she she's Hulk. A she Hulk. She Hulk's a lawyer, right? Yeah, she's a lawyer. Okay, yeah. So I, I, it, it would be She Hulk and it would be Deadpool. <laughs> Those would make for some interesting conversations. Mm-hmm. Um, if I want to do like a relationship podcast, it would be like Jean Grey and fucking Cyclops. Oh, they can show you how to do the Will Smith and Jada. <laughs> yeah, they are doing it. And then, and then put Wolverine in. It. Yeah, yeah, he's August. Al- Wolverine's August Alcina. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine Alcina. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that nigga's uh, Logan Alcina. Logan Alcina. That was lit. Yo, does Logan really not have a last name? He does. James. Hollett. No, he does. Yeah. What is it, James? James Howlett. James Howlett. Is yeah, Howlett. So, so, so what's Logan? Logan it, just, just, it was just a tag that he had. Okay. I think that was his dog tag, so he just went by that name. Yeah, I think it's just like a name he got after he got the amnesia thing. Yeah. I think he is Seal? Like, the fuck is Seal? <laughs> yeah. He cries by the graves when the sun is blown. What the fuck had that what? song go? Kiss of a Rose on Grey. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Come on, think <laughs> of you, the stranger. You. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got to blast that shit. <laughs> Uh, uh, see. Uh, <laughs> you know that's for Batman too. It was. I forgot what. Yeah, that. it was. I think it was for Batman. Um, song with flavors. Yeah, it was. I would want if I was to do a another relationship podcast, it would be like Batman and Catwoman because them niggas is always breaking up and getting back together. That would be interesting convo. I don't know what the fuck they related. They, their shit is open. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah de- no, nah, I, I think you know they got like, married one time. Like deep down, he know that bitch is bad. Yeah, he was like, that pussy fire. Yeah, <laughs> so, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> um, you want to do uh, Joker and Harley Quinn? Joker and Harley Quinn. That shit is that shit was yeah, that was last like, ten episodes. <laughs> that podcast <laughs> wouldn't even get off the fucking ground. <laughs> but that shit would be fucking fire, nigga. That Every episode would be for the ten episode. That like it'd be a dope ass miniseries. <laughs> like the shit, like Joker would never come to the studio. That's love <laughs> hip hop. <laughs> Word. <laughs> It'd just be Harley Quinn and then Harley Quinn bring in Poison Ivy. <laughs> oh, that'd be lit. Yeah. And then, um, let's see. Um, I want to do a podcast where they have their doppelgangers on. <laughs> so it's like Deadpool and Deathstroke. <laughs> oh, that should be dope, actually. That actually be fucking dope. <laughs> yeah. So it's like Iron Man and Batman. <laughs> so um, like- Spider-Man and, was that Scarlet Spider? No, not Scarlet. Whatever the fucking nigga is in uh, DC. Um, can't remember. Oh, Thanos and uh, Dark Side. Uh, yeah. Thanos and Dark Side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want them to have a podcast after they have ruled the world. So mm-hmm. I want to. So I. So if, if, if so. So if Endgame happens, right, and then yeah. uh, Thanos starts a podcast, I want to know what he talks about <laughs> on that farm until Thor chops his head off. <laughs> uh, plants. I don't know what, what he's plants. talking about until then. So this nigga got a burnt up crispy ass arm. <laughs> to do a nigga just playing some rutabagas yeah. and shit. I don't know what to do. So he just chilling on the farm. He's like day one. Kill Crystal side myself. <laughs> yeah. The world is at peace. <laughs> there is balance again. I got burned like <laughs> Usher on this island. Burned like Usher. <laughs> what? He got burned like Usher. He got burned like Usher. Damn, nigga. <sighs> Gotta let it burn. Yeah, man. So, uh, um, what's I up? heard for him to say that. <laughs> it's coming from his heart. <laughs> Been a long time coming. But had to, yeah. <laughs> The universe been fell apart. <laughs> Want to work things out? I don't think it's gonna change. I will, but you won't. <laughs> you go, I said, <laughs> I'm gonna snap you, baby. <laughs> out this relationship, <laughs> baby. Quit your dusty, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not dusty, niggas. <laughs> oh, so what's the yeah. next question we got, man? Uh, this one comes from. Lee Wanonski, I guess L I W A N S Wanonski. I'm assuming that's what it is. Oh, okay. So, 
Shout out to Juan. Yeah. Uh, I know y'all have talked about your favorite comedians a few times, but what is your favorite <clears throat> comedy bit or routine and what makes it your favorite? Uh, uh, Dave Chappelle with, with the baby. Um, oh, yes. The crack baby? baby. I'm selling weed. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> the, the joke is funny on its own, but then it has the mean callback when it's in the strip club. So I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, just slap her in the ass twice or whatever. <laughs> um, I really like the Kevin Hart shit that came out the fucking bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> like that shit. Um, it's not a real. Oh, all right, let's ride. Yeah, let's, right, let's ride. <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh, yeah, we gonna get it. Like yo, <laughs> like how he set the whole joke up and then he ended on that shit and that was yeah. like the best joke of the shit. That shit really did it for me. I was oh, like, oh no, nah, fucking uh, the. Oh, Cursing on his teacher too. Yeah, yeah. Kirk, 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 no, my you <laughs> to tell you my <laughs> joke, <your> motherfucking <laughs> fucking business, bitch. Long to no nipple having ass, bitch. She ain't got no, no nipple. nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Crying all down your back, fat. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, Kevin Hart, he, he used to be so good. Yeah, that yeah. was yeah, that was funny. Um, yeah, funny. Might as well have to be. <laughs> Bernie Mac, uh, the the kid on the bus, like ah, oh, ah. Ah. he was teasing me. <laughs> I like the Bernie Mac. See, I got my sister kid. Oh yeah, I was just, I was just yeah. thinking about that shit. The reason I, told, I like that I is I tell a little punk he could have had no fucking cookies. <laughs> tell a little punk boy he could have no goddamn milk cookies. <laughs> Him downstairs. Uh, him downstairs. The reason I like that because he turned into a whole show. Yeah, I know. So he was able to capitalize off one joke. That was the uh, <laughs> what was the nigga name? Robert Harrison. Robert yeah. Harris yeah, thing. Robert Harris. Yeah. Where he turned like a, kids. he turned a joke into Baby's kids. So Bernie <laughs> yeah. like turned a fucking five minute bit into like a four or five season long show. Yeah, that was good actually. <laughs> so that, that's why I like that joke. Um, Eddie Murphy. Um, I like the I like the joke when he was talking about when uh, Italians saw Rocky and they thought that they, that they could beat up on black people. <laughs> yeah, you're Rocky. Like, oh, right, Rocky. He was like, oh, let me get some juju men, some yeah. bomb. <laughs> yeah, the nigga's gonna pay for it. <laughs> yeah, this nigga gonna pay for my fucking candy. <laughs> hey, excuse me. He said, "You heard me, Moon. <laughs> pay for my fucking candy." candy. <laughs> like, oh, you just watched Rocky, didn't you? <laughs> um, oh, um, shit. Chris Rock. Chris Rock got a bunch of them. Chris Rock is a big piece of chicken. Big piece of chicken. <laughs> Chris Rock is a genius to me when it comes to just forming jokes and shit. At the, at, it was a, it was like a brief, like not brief, because it was like five years where he was like my favorite comedian ever. Yeah. Um, Chris Rock with the black people versus niggas. Yep. Yeah. Um, the uh, niggas got to go. <laughs> tall salad man. Yeah. Um, I, like, I prefer syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I finally see that shit. That shit nasty. <laughs> um, what else? I mean, this ain't a comedy bit, but ain't no sex in the champagne room. Ain't no sex that in the champagne funny. room. Was fucking genius. <laughs> Yo, you gotta hear Chris Rock uh, album, the um bigger the bigger, bigger blacker mm. album. Yeah, like it's, it's like like the skits on there is fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, we made a girl leave school because that's. Yeah, we did. Yeah, y'all did. Y'all niggas is fucked up. Y'all, yo, I'm tired of y'all niggas in this y'all shit. Like y'all wasn't in on this shit. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit, yo. <laughs> y'all yeah. did all this y'all shit. Us. Nah, I don't know, nigga. I was quiet in school, so I don't think you that was. You say me. nothing to her? <laughs> no. Damn, some all shit right, cool. Some shit that yeah. come back on y'all. <laughs> I no, remember no. back in the day. <laughs> we, getting, yeah. we was ten at the. First of all, we was ten. <laughs> yeah. Second of all. 12. I don't think we can get canceled because everybody does it now. So it's like, I mean, I don't know if that's quite accurate, but we gonna so move on. We was making fun of her for sucking dick, and she was in like the sixth grade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So like, what woman nowadays that's sexually active don't do that? And we was ten. So I'm not like, saying it was right. I'm just saying it happened. But it's not like we was ten picking Ooh. on like a picture. We was, we was ten year olds Yo. picking on ten year olds. Yeah. Yo, shit. Um, <laughs> this is Bill Burr. Uh, fucking um, 
my, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call it a monologue, but this is like like this rant he went on with kids, and like it's it's funny that he has kids now. Mm. Like he hate being around kids. That they they just like these fucking um adults with no responsibility. Like they just walk around all day with these bare bellies, just letting them hang out and shit. And then he was talking about how he he didn't know how to make this kid shut up, so he threw some water on him. And like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like yo, the kid was so shocked that he didn't know what to do. He was like yo, did this nigga just throw water on me? <laughs> like, <laughs> like yo, I now I know how to shut kids up. Just you know, yeah, throw, just, <laughs> throw water on him. Yeah, get a little water. <laughs> you know, he shut up. He was like showing shock. He was like, this is a grown ass man just throw some water on me. <laughs> um, Bill Burr got a lot of them where it's like you know to thin the herd and you know yep. a lot of them. Um. Oh man, fuck! It's so, it's somebody else I'm thinking of, but I can't think of his name right now. Michael Shea had a good one. It, it was it was actually the one the joke he said that <clears throat> made me stop saying trannies. Yeah, <laughs> made me and people brought it back up when they was talking about the whole uh, Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah, and that was the comedy special it came from. <laughs> okay, Blackie. <laughs> yeah, he's like okay. Yeah, he was like, um, you know, what's wrong with tranny? I mean. What's wrong with it? He's like, all right, what would you like if somebody called you Blackie? I was like, you know what? Touche. To go <laughs> you got a point. All right, I'll stop. He's like, you got that one, nigga? <laughs> nigga. <laughs> now, that's something about comedians. I think that's a gift that they don't, that we don't talk about often enough where they take something that's confusing to like the normal person and make it digestible. Yeah. Okay, because a lot of the shit that I be thinking, it's just too convoluted in my head, but then I hear like a Chris Rock. He'll explain that shit perfectly, but he'll put it in joke form. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, that's just the mark of a good comedian, I think, like being able to take something and taking a distinct view on it and like expressing it to people. Yeah. And another reason I like uh, Chris Rock so much is because he be doing sh- like he like he'll say some shit that I was thinking but I feel like we was thinking and I feel like I'm great because we was both thinking <laughs> <laughs> like, like if he thought about it and I thought about it I gotta be good too and that shit yo I, I'm telling you like it's like scary how much it happens mm-hmm. where it's like yo, I'm thinking of some shit where it's like the shit that he was talking about one time when he was talking about bullets mm-hmm. he was talking about oh. yo make every bullet cost like $500 yeah. mm-hmm. like yo if you shoot somebody like won't be that much shooting because niggas be trying to like, you know, pick who they shoot. And then like, if you shoot somebody, I'm going to get my bullet back. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, if you make bullets cost a lot of money, it won't be a lot of shooting. I was thinking that shit. I was like, yeah, why don't you just make ammo with just mad money? Like the gun could be like 300. It could be like 200 a bullet. <laughs> yeah. and, and niggas don't have aim. So it was like, I ain't going to waste these shit. So it was like, <laughs> then he said, I was like, oh shit, I was thinking the shit he said. Nigga. Um, you telekinesing. <laughs> Do we <Kinesing>. telekinesing? <laughs> Um, who else? It's pretty much it. I can yeah. think off the top of my head. I know I'm gonna think of a bunch of shit later, but I like <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a bunch of Kevin Hart jokes that I like. Um, I like, I like sh- Corey Holcomb because he says some shit that niggas be thinking, but I mean, Corey it's Holcomb, fucked up, but he, niggas be thinking that definitely be thinking Corey, that shit. Corey Holcomb is the nigga that knows he's not gonna go nowhere, like, like he wants, he wants to be your favorite, your, he wants to be your favorite comedian. Favorite favorite comedian type of shit where he wants to say this shit that's on everybody's head but don't have yeah. the nerve to say. So he he wants to be that nigga. Like <laughs> like he wants to be the Patrice O'Neill, but it just don't go over the same. Mm-mm. Oh no, I like I like uh Corey Ogle. Yeah, I, yeah, like, yeah. I like Corey Ogle too because he I be, think he's funny. He do be saying some funny shit, but it's like I feel like I feel like he knows he's getting in his own way. Oh yeah, of course. Well yeah, he's definitely saying mad offensive shit, so it's like yeah. Like he, said, yeah. <laughs> he said like, some I, shit. Uh, he was talking about wilding out. He was like, it got real gay when he left. <laughs> and he said, everybody was cheering, Yay, Corey's gone. We could be ourselves. <laughs> that shit was like funny. Three types of comedians. It's like the comedians that don't give a fuck, the comedians that, you know, chase the superstardom, and the comedians that just happen to be funny and, and are given the opportunity. Yeah. He's, he's the one that's like, I'm just gonna be me and be funny. I don't give a fuck if I don't get all the money if I'm living paycheck to paycheck or like. Well, I, I don't know. think he's living paycheck to paycheck because not paycheck to paycheck. But I, I feel like most comedians want to live the Kevin Hart lifestyle, but they don't want to give up themselves. At the end of the day. Some do, some do, some some are just traveling comedians. They just make money on the road. Yeah, make, a, make a, a, a lot of money and make a lot of money on the road. Yeah, but when like it, he's a road comedian, out, when it comes to selling out a like a like a club or like a venue as opposed to a stadium or like a theater 
Like, well, yeah, they're not making a million. The theater or the Coliseum, or like, w- would you rather have the club or like? Well, it depends if I can, if I have to curtail my art. I want whatever allows me to yeah. do what I want to do. I feel like some comedians don't want to do that. Like, they can't. I don't know if it's just the fact that they're happy with this brash brand of comedy that they have, and they just don't want to curtail it to fit everybody, or just like, yeah. I don't really give a fuck. I'm gonna just go down to history as, as the nigga that did it my way, and if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. Well, Pretty it depends, much. but. But it depends on what you qualify as making it. If yeah. they're if they're going if they're working every weekend or every week or whatever, but they're making a livable wage and they have a house and they <laughs> like, have a cars and they yeah. pay their bills and they're not broke and they're not stressing about money. Okay, like so not everybody needs to be a superstar. Some niggas yeah. are just working comedians, and that's so, fine for a lot of niggas. If we're talking about Corey Holcomb, right? Yeah. Um. So Corey Holcomb has a podcast or like a a video show, or whatever, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like the setup, the cameras, the mics are like a precursor to how well you're doing. <laughs> what, like the 480p <laughs> filming? <laughs> yeah. So like, I mean, it is what it is. You don't have the best camera. You ha- don't have the best mics, the best background. The setting is off. It's like, but he's funny as shit. Like, if, if you listen to it audibly, yeah. is that a word? Aud- aud- audibly? <laughs> it is now. Audibly? It's a word now. <laughs> audibly is a word now. Audibly? <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> so, so if you listen to it audibly, yeah, like, there, you go. there you go. So Name you don't really give a fuck about, you know, <laughs> you don't really give a fuck about the, uh, you know, the ambiance of the shit. Yeah, the when that video, when you put it on YouTube and it looks a certain way, it's yeah. like, you shooting it, like you a big time comedian, you be doing this shit for like 20, 30 years. Yeah, but he's also probably like 50, right? Same song, yeah, song. yeah, yeah. He's old as shit. And he so got he old just, niggas working on the set. He might just not know no better. So, I mean, I understand what you're, you're and I'm not saying that you're wrong on that point because yeah. it could be, it could be that, but it could also be he's just old nigga. He don't really yeah. know how the internet works. Old he, niggas working with old He's like, oh, I got mics. I got a camera. That's good enough. He got like, Teddy he Riley niggas behind him. So, you know, yeah. you know how that goes. His internet choppy as fuck. Yeah. So, you're you know telling me, so a lot of these comedians <laughs> that aren't doing that well tend to hate on a nigga like Kevin Hart. Whereas, yeah, like, they do so much. Like you know, he he could be like the phase on love of the shit. Where it's like, I just hate Kevin Hart because he's not, you know, I'm I'm not where he is, or or like they like Mike Epps hate on Kevin Hart a lot. You know what? I don't think it's necessarily a hate on Kevin Hart. I think it's misdirected because I'm pretty sure they go in these like if you go in these corporate buildings, they'll hit you with the oh, can you be more like Kevin Hart? Because I've heard uh-huh. that from Godfrey. Godfrey said that shit before. Like he went in the building, they was like, "Oh, can you be more like Kevin Hart?" Like, fuck you. No, I mean, Hart, I'm like, Godfrey, I, I feel like Godfrey has his own lane because he can do impressions and he really, and he's real funny. No, he's funny. But, shit. Um, he was on serious radio, but he got taken off. Yeah, he got kicked was, off. But um, mm-hmm. I feel like you know, like the Mike Epps, the Cat Williams, the Corey Hogan, like they're just mad because they should be bigger than what they are, and they're still like, I don't want to say you're running the Chitlin circuit, but they're like not as big as they should be. Yeah, I think some of it, it yeah, could be yeah, some I'm of that. Person. Mike Epps had his run, though. Yeah. Who? Mike Epps had his run, though. Best Mike Epps. Epps. Cat Williams, too. Yeah. But, okay, so if we comparing, like, runs, they don't have the typical black comedian run. Where it's like, you know, your Eddie Murphy's, your Richard Pryor, your Kevin Hart's. Like, I feel like after Friday, mm-hmm. or next Friday, Mike Epps ain't really been doing that much. He was in, been on the road with shit. In, what was, what money that, Heist? Was that, that shit with the no, check? Money Heist. Um, some, some movie I, I can't even remember the fucking movie. Yeah, when, when, it, when he had a lot of, when he had a lot of yeah, retickets. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called, and, but yeah. You know, like Cat Williams is Cat another Williams one, but, is but, just, he does, but he does well on the road though. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so I'm saying he's a road comedian. But I think, and also I think some of it, I think some of it is like the success, but also I think some of them really don't think he's that funny. And for them, I think that's a bigger sin than Yeah, Mike Epps' is comedy is... That shit is going down. That shit is well, going I mean, down. I meant like, Ke- they don't think Kevin Hart is that funny. And I think oh, that's... Oh, no, no, he's why. not. That's yeah. why, and I think that's why a lot of them shit on him so much because, like, you know, to them, the comedy but is the most it's important It's not about part funny. It's about the numbers. It's about what you can pull in. So Kevin Hart... Mm, so, to who? To who? To that's, the Hollywood execs. So if... Well, but okay. if, they don't, I see but if you don't care, but... Okay. No, go ahead. No, but I'm saying, like, you know, if... So... We can probably agree that Cat Williams is funnier than Kevin Hart, right? But Cat Williams don't pull in the numbers that Kevin Hart does. Yeah. So it's like Kevin Hart has built a cachet where with his first, like, what, three, four specials, they were, like, top-notch. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know, now everyone knows the name of Kevin Hart, so now he can just brand something Kevin Hart and people will go see it. Mm-hmm. 
Cat Williams has been in the news. He, he got beat up by a fucking, what, an eighth grader? Drug problem. <laughs> don't want to play the shoots. Cussing out fucking radio personalities. Um, being in, in these low-budget movies. So when you put the name Cat Williams on something, it's we, we go back to nostalgia. We go back to, you know... Um, you know, what, what was the uh, Pimp Chronicles shit? Yeah. Like that, but it was like, what have you done for me lately type of thing? So like the name Cat Williams don't mean the same. I think, I, it depends on what, it depends on what you're trying to, what you're qualifying that for. I mean, so if, if, you're, if you're talking strictly stand up, I think Cat Williams name stands for himself because I think he's funny and I think he'll always be funny. I, I don't think I've ever seen him come up on stage and not be funny. I mean, when he was in um Atlanta, Mm-hmm. Sort of man, yeah. Shit, yeah. But it's like, well, that's not stand up. That's a parent. But but when you want a comedy dude to be comedic, it's like I can call on him. But it's like Cat Williams come with too many issues. I guess Kevin Hart is very narrow. Like the only if, if the only thing that we got on Kevin Hart is that he cheated. Mm. Like black, black men don't cheat, so that never happened. You're right. <laughs> So I take that back. <laughs> so if the, if the worst thing that we got on him is that other comedians don't find him that funny, but he pulls in these big numbers, then yeah, you can't you can't be mad at Kevin Hart? No, nah, yeah, but again, I guess my, my my only point with that was like it depends on what your barometer is. If yeah. it's, if you're talking strictly about the money, the financials, the large audience, then yeah, then that's on that. But if you're talking about the ability to be a funny com- uh, comedian, yeah, yeah, then. The, the amount of money you're making, the 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 movie, all this other shit doesn't matter. That that yeah. does, that doesn't mean shit. Yeah, it's, it's like, are you funny? Yes or no? Yeah, just com- a lot of com- mm. yeah. yeah, you got it. I think, I think a lot of comedians care more about that than yes, the money's nice. Yes, I would like to have a TV show. Yes, I would, whatever I do, all this other shit. But I don't know. You can't get on the stage and be funny in this fucking stage and talk to me. And I think yeah. that's how they, some of them. Play. I don't. I don't get getting into the game and want to be mediocre or being less than. Well, what, what is what is less less than like? It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like that's like um, hmm. like I don't I don't think. Well, I I would hope comedians get into the game to be the best. But what's like, but like, <sighs> like 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 they like they want the acclaim, they want the the movie roles, they want the TV appearances, they want but that the, does. The, but that doesn't mean they're the best. Yeah, that's like comparing like Bill Cosby and fucking Richard Pryor. You right? It's like it's like it's like mm-hmm. like compare Andrew Schultz what what what. Andrew Schultz is doing what Kevin Hart's doing. I'd rather mm-hmm. be Andrew Schultz. Facts. Because Andrew Schultz does what he wants, says what he wants, and he's funny as fuck. And he and he's doing yeah. everything on his own terms. Is he destined to be another if you play the game, you could have been? Well, that's about anybody, right? But it depends on what you I, I understand you what you're saying, but I guess it, <laughs> yeah, it, it depends on what you constitute as the win. The win is different for everybody. Like yeah, so the, I, yeah, right. and the movies aren't necessarily yeah, it's a bigger check. Yeah, but 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 you hear how these comedians talk about other comedians that are bigger than them. Like they like yeah. like the way they talk about them is just like yo, you wish you was him, but if you just did X Y Z, or if you, you know, did no, you're right. Could have been this. You just don't want to because you're stuck in this. I got to keep it real, shit. You're right, but yeah. I I just don't think making it in the movies necessary. Like, cause again, it depends on what you're what you're looking for. No, so not 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 the movies. You know, Cause maybe I'm, cause I'm maybe not the movies. Maybe you could. I don't want to. Maybe like the Dave Chappelle route or something like you so get like, a yeah. TV gig, you do four seasons and be just living in infamy for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but if all you want to do is tell jokes on the stage, and you can do that, and you can feed your kids and not worry about money ever, period. Yeah, yeah. To that person, that could be success. That could be fine. That could be them making it. So just all about getting in front of the right crowd, though. Yeah. yeah. So it depends on what you constitute as a success. Yeah, I just think they all want that. Like what Kevin Hart has in a certain way, but they just don't want to sacrifice their integrity. Yeah, along yeah. the way, and I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, yeah. I'm not doing that. Shit. Don't trust <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing it, doing it their way is yeah. more important than selling, shuck, shucking and jiving just to make money. Yeah, I'm not yeah, saying, yeah. That, and I'm not saying that's what Kevin Hart's doing. I'm just, oh, uh, hey, listen, hey, I'm, there's an listen. argument there. <laughs> <laughs> the shoes are soft. Tiptoe out the window. That's what he's doing. Oh shit. I, I won't I won't say that particular aspect, but I'm just you know <laughs> I can't confirm or deny that. But I mean, Kevin Hart said it. I mean, he said what he wanted to do. He wanted to be international. Mm-hmm. Want to be an action star? All right, all right I get it. it yeah, when you is. when you come from shit, you don't want to go back to shit. Yeah. Thanks. Well, he made it to the point where he shouldn't be going back to shit unless he fuck up. I mean, they trying to fuck him up. <laughs> he, better, he better have a prenup. I know that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, he should. 
Because these <laughs> hoes is out here. Yeah. And they know he cheated. Uh, Andre, allegedly. Uh, allegedly. All you gotta do is get him drunk. <laughs> <laughs> And take him to Vegas. <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> um, good question. So topic time. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, I should just popped up on my feet. Again. I can't. I can't with this shit. I can't. Well, you can. Uh, you know. Uh, we'll, talk about, we'll talk about it later. I'm a faithful black. Yes. Faithful black men don't cheat. Faithful black man. Well, but you can be faithful with her. Hmm. For the time being. Damn. In that moment. Mm. See, that's why she don't like you now. <laughs> what weapon? Oh shit, she don't damn. Like, not, not not like a like a like a jokingly like, she, she don't like you. <laughs> but like um <laughs> last last episode, because I said that she ain't watch a Marvel movie, <laughs> Hesh was like, yo, she cool, but you gotta leave her. <laughs> but it was a joke, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> but I, I don't really like not like you, but it's like jokingly, like yo, I don't, I don't like Hesh because he said that. Oh my bad, dog. I, <laughs> that was, that was an absolute. Was, no, she knows a joke. Okay, my <laughs> bad, dog. I be joking. It's just me for the internet. I apologize. <laughs> I want her mad at me for that. You need yeah. to understand. Yeah, women in this show. Yeah, they don't get it. Uh, <laughs> They don't I get the fucking disconnect of where it's uh, like entertainment and reflection. Yeah, I swear it's all for the internet. Like I be just, I, I mean mean, I be, mean, I be mean to some of this shit, but it'd be funny. All right, so topic, funny. So a Ninja Turtle CGI movie is in the development by Seth Rogen. Yeah, her fucking right, doggy. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave it her part. I was just saying. <laughs> I just be saying dumb shit. This is be jokes. Uh, um, Ninja Turtles CGI. Yep. Um. Hmm. I like the um. I don't, know how to feel. Hmm. Hmm? I don't know how to feel. But you don't like that. You didn't like the one where they did with the the dinosaurs and shit. I like the one. The they one did with Raph and um Leo fighting on the building. I kind of like that shit. Yeah, that yeah, shit was like, cool. But yeah. that's 3D. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are we talking about CGI? No, this is they said CG. So I'm some guessing it's gonna be like that one. <laughs> yeah, like a fully anim- like Toy Story type yeah. animated like that. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so if it's that, and if it's South Rogan. Seth Rogen, I he's, don't know. He's big in the comic books and stuff, I mm-hmm. think. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think he's going to act uh, in it. No, he's not. He's producing. But it ha- I, don't, I don't know how to feel because I don't know if it's going to be canon. I don't know if it's going to be just like a one-off. I don't know what... I don't, I don't, I don't know what this is. Basically, I don't, I don't know if this is a continuation of the 2008 one. I don't know if this is just like his own interpretation of the turtles. I don't know if this is, you know, someone I trust with the turtles. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. Like, Seth Rogen has made good movies, but he's never made a comic book movie. So, I mean, yeah, he did. Huh. No, wait, who? No, no, Green no, Hornet. No, no. Yeah, it's not. Com- <laughs> that's not over there for a little bit. No, I don't want to talk about that. Don't, 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 don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, I'm um, fucking preacher. Oh, I forgot about that. He's like executive producer of preacher. Okay, fine. And um, fuck, I swear to God, there's another one. I can't remember the name of it. I trust Seth Rogen. I just said I, I, I don't know his pedigree with comic book movies. And if it's some turtles coming out, I'm always with it. Like I'm yeah. on board. see, like you have my money already. I mean, he was a kid before. See. But yeah, I mean, I've seen every Turtles iteration ever, and Michael Bay has ruined Turtles for me. So you're, for you're a super fan, though. Yeah, and I was just gonna say it probably can't be no worse than those. I don't think it could be worse than those movies. So it, as soon as they announced, it, I said I'm going to go see it. I might not like it, but I'm going to see it. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all niggas already got my money. So. <laughs> shut up and take my money. Yeah, shut up and take my fucking uh, Turtles don't got no currency. Never mind. <laughs> Um, well, if they're like stoner, stoner turtles and shit, they like smoking weed and black like cow I mean, bone. Mm, I mean, like you're not a ruin the turtles for me. I mean, they are teenagers, so, so they do experiment with yeah, shit. Like, oh. like totally, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> cow, like, radical. Cow, <laughs> radical. Yo, you know, April in her yellow jumpsuit, man. <laughs> Bodacious boobs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking like a piece of pizza in that suit, man. <laughs> so, turtles. Mm. I don't know. What are y'all thoughts on it? I mean, I'm I'm gonna watch it. I'm with it. I like Seth Rogen and I like Ninja Turtles. So yeah, yeah. So I'm saying that that, that should equal like, yeah. like <laughs> it's like it's worth it's worth further expo- exploration. 
Yeah, I mean it could could turn out with like uh uh what's on boy? Why is it coming to the blink? Who who played Deadpool? Uh, uh <laughs> Yeah, my brain stopped with figuring it out right. too. Okay. Yeah, okay. My brain stopped. Yeah. <laughs> well, whoever that nigga was. <laughs> like you didn't Yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Well, Damn. I, I, I drink I drink a lot, nigga. So that's <laughs> right. I, I, I should just get going, right now, nigga. So I don't get Deadpool. How do you Snap, know I'm not my memory is snapping away? How do you know I'm not drinking right now? <laughs> I'm not, but Yeah, but it's like it's like the whole Ryan Reynolds uh taking hold of Deadpool Deadpool. We didn't know how that was gonna turn out. Look what happened. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I we kinda that was we kind of knew that was perfect, like a, like a perfect matching because we knew how Ryan Reynolds was as an actor and then we knew Deadpool as a character. So it was like, that, that makes sense. This don't make sense. I mean, <laughs> but it's like, but it's like, if you want to, if you want to um, bring the turtles back into the light, back into the forefront, I'm with it. It's just the fact that I don't know Seth Rogen with comic book movies. Oh, so it's because of the aesthetics of it. Yeah. That's like, that's like the same way I felt about um, John Favreau who played Happy. In mm-hmm. Iron Man, I didn't think he was a Star Wars head like that, but this motherfucker obviously knows what he's doing. I mean, hey, he directed over, the first two <laughs> Iron Man movies. No, yeah. but we always saw John Favreau as an actor, but when he took his, you know, he took that role further and became a director, we was like, oh shit, this nigga's actually like talented. And nigga, he's like, um, what's what's Happy Days do? Oh, Ron Howard. Ron with the oh, Ron, Ron Howard. Howard. Yeah, Ron Howard with the weird yeah, brother Ron with the fire ass daughter. Yeah, the uh, weird Bryce Dallas brother. Howard, fire white girl. Hey, what's up with his brother? His brother look weird. I don't even know who that you is. You know his brother? You remember, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, have you ever noticed, like, the brother of, like, a successful person always look crazy? Like, Tony Rock? Yeah. That, brother, Charlie Tony, Murphy? T- Tony Rock's normal. look crazy. It's not that they look crazy. It's that they like, look sort of like the nigga that you know, <laughs> but they're look, not. They look like the knockoff version of the nigga that you know. Well, because they bizarre version. Because they kind of are the knockoff <laughs> version of the nigga. <laughs> yeah. Bizarre version. Oh shit! Like yo, t- you you can't tell me all the shit that Chris Rock has done. He couldn't put Tony in nothing. I'm sure uh, he, he has, right? Yeah, make your he own has way put Tony in some shit. Like he like he's been in it. everybody hates Chris in a couple of things. But you telling me like, damn, you couldn't like put him more in a foot. Like you couldn't do the Adam Sandler with your brother. Nah. Well, the, here's the question. Maybe he didn't want that. Maybe Tony didn't want that. Maybe he didn't want to be like, oh, I'm he only doing this. Now. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know then. I was just saying, maybe he didn't want everybody to be like, oh, you only got this because of your brother type of yeah, shit. Maybe the person to do it who didn't want it was Charlie Murphy. Yeah. Oh. Eddie Murphy was like, yo, this is my brother. This is my best friend. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put him in Harlem Nights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and then we just found out that Charlie Murphy was just a funny nigga. Yeah. yeah. Well, a naturally hood funny nigga. <laughs> yeah. But Charlie Murphy earned his stripes. He was a writer too. Yeah. So yeah. He wrote, on, he wrote on Chappelle's show. He wrote on a couple other things. He did it. He he wrote on a couple other um Eddie Murphy movies, but like the fact that he didn't want to be in comedy, but he was like forced into comedy because of his brother. Yeah. Kind of like, you know. Well, thank God for that. Yeah. yeah. We never got Charlie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be forgetting Charlie Murphy gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What did he die from? Was Panther, it cancer? I believe. Yeah. yeah. yeah like that. The same thing. I think. What, what is his wife passed away from? Same thing? Oh, I didn't know his wife died. Yeah, his yeah. wife passed away. Same thing. I think. Right, right, right. I think it was cancer too. Crazy. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Mahershala <laughs> Ali to mm, play yeah, boxing yeah. legend Jack Johnson in a limited HBO series. Yeah, I'm with it, yo. I'm with, I'm it. with it because Jack Johnson is the first. Um, Black book report I ever did. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, so I've always knew who Jack Johnson was and what he did and what he stood for, type of thing. And Mahersha Ali, even though he don't look like Jack Johnson whatsoever, but <laughs> he kind of do. You seen these bitches? Mahersha Ali with a bald head. I don't. I mean, you I'm these, with it. You seen these bitches? Nah. Uh, he, he, he do look like that, and he do like that nigga. Yo, I'm all lying. we do is come back. Yo, all yo, all we do is die and come back. <laughs> <laughs> So, really? that, so I don't know. <laughs> Ancestors want revenge, nigga. Yo, we we coming, <laughs> looking for revenge. Yo, you heard about that fucking um? It was like a uh, like a like a windstorm that carried like the sand from the Sahara Desert. Oh, the dust Africa, all the way. Yeah. The dust from yeah. Africa. That's yeah. the ancestors. Yeah. I was like, yo, that's the yeah. ancestors that's just doing their part for 2020. Yeah. That's like when uh, uh, Simba fell on the thing and and, and Rafiki grabbed the thing out of the skies and like the particles <laughs> of Africa flying towards. Yeah. 
He's alive. <laughs> he can't like, be. The spirits are alive when they're coming for you, white people. <laughs> Damn, Great, remember the African kings? Yeah. The I feel bad now. What? So Mahershala hmm? as a boxing champ, one of the first black boxers to knock niggas, knock these white niggas out legally. Yeah. Hesh, are you with it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know nothing about Jack Johnson or nothing like that, but I'm I like the idea of it. Jack Johnson was <laughs> and yeah. HBO, so you know, HBO seems to do things right, so I feel like it'll be you know. Speaking of that, oh, nah, it's, it's uh, it just came to mind in HBO, so yeah, they're they're definitely they shouldn't do the Watchmen season two. They shouldn't do that. They should do that fucking hooded justice shit. <laughs> That's what oh. they should do. I mean, Man. but how much of the hooded justice can you get? You know from the beginning. Can that only be one season too? Mm, depending. Depending. Depending how long the story is. Well, I mean, the I beginning. Don't know. I would I, like to I, see I, that. I, well, I would like to see that too. But I'm also kind of like, no, if I get leave it alone, don't touch it. You did something good, and if that's all you want to do, then just leave it. I'd rather them not do it and then leave it as it is than do something and ruin it. It's not like I Watchmen would. though. Yeah, but, it's but a Jace. But is is Watchmen off of source material? Yeah. So is yeah. so if they would were to do hooded justice, would it be up up to their interpretation, or is there hooded justice source material? It I don't know, depends. Interpretation is I don't I don't think there's any hooded justice stories, are there really? Exactly. So I don't. I think it's aren't. a comic book, but I don't. Mm-hmm. Was he white in the comic book? That's what I'm trying. I think they just t- turned him black for the the TV the show, series, Maybe. which kind of makes sense. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Yeah, but if there isn't any Hooded Justice source material in comic books or anything else, then it would be up to their interpretation, mm. and they might fuck it up and get it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you you can't get it wrong when you're creating some original shit, but it might not, like, flow with the rest of the shit, and it might throw you off of the original Watchmen. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's, it's like a, you know, it could be really good or really bad, but you don't want to take that chance. Yeah. So. E. I would, I would, I would say try it. You, you can, you know, write a script. Get a fucking Orlando Jones a job. Put him back on the writing staff. Have him do something. Word. Um, let's see. A Fallout TV series is in the works. This is from the, uh, I guess the producers or the creators of um, Westworld. Yeah. Westworld. Yeah. Oh, I'm with it. <laughs> so if it's anything like Westworld, I'm definitely all in. Word. Yeah. I definitely got to catch up on Westworld. I haven't watched. I've watched all of season one, have yet to start season two or three. I mean, you have me at the at Fallout and TV show. <laughs> I was in there. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I was in there like, yeah, yeah. let's get this probably. Fallout and TV show. Yeah, the nuclear family and all that shit, the suits, pff, I'm with it. Yeah, I mean, it, and, and that's a, the, the great thing about Fallout is like, they could just throw you somewhere and it's post-apocalyptic super mutants and fucking <laughs> whatever the fuck. Yeah, I wonder if the mutant's gonna be uh practical. Probably not. It could be. I think it would be better if it was practical. I mean, they bigger shit. So yeah, but, you, know, you, put, you, you put a nigga on a yeah. on a, on a, on a bunch a, of eight foot niggas. Put them on an apple box or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm Tom cruise it. it up. Tom cruise it up. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, we can it up. Yeah. Yo, is he still alive? What's up with him? Is he, is he better? Yes. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I'm just saying. Last time we seen him, he wasn't doing well. Yeah, well he didn't look skinny. like he was doing well. Let's check his Twitter. Let's, I mean, his Instagram. Let's see how he's doing. Mm-hmm. Um, because because that, that weight loss wasn't for the five bloods. It wasn't? So, no. Damn. No. Cause he, he, did, he, looked, he looked nothing Crack like... Crack yeah. Chad. Yo, crack is whack, dog. <laughs> yeah, nah, man. he just posted shit from the five bloods and he looked normal. Mm, I don't know. I think he erased that video. Because uh, this is dating back to 2019. Um, this is 2019. This is a picture with Kobe. Kobe? Mm. Yeah, he erased that shit. Damn. Oh, cool. He's like, I want, I want to be looking crazy in these trees. <laughs> you was already looking crazy, my nigga. <laughs> so... He posted a bunch of shit from Black Panther and a bunch of Wakanda Forever 2019 reviews. Um, yeah, he erased that shit. He, he got that shit the fuck up out of here. Yeah, he yeah. crazy, he but he's alive. Right. He's alive. <laughs> he That's all that matters. He posted something from the Five Bloods three days ago. So, all right, cool. So he good. All right, cool. <laughs> 
Shout out to shout out to Bozeman. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Ain't Chadwick like fifty something? Yeah, he like fifty. Damn. Mm-hmm. Black don't crack, baby. Mm-hmm. Pause. He look good for a <laughs> black don't crack, baby. Yeah. Like he looked like a good thirty something, but he fitting. Yeah. That's yeah. South Carolina blood, nigga. Shout out to South Carolina. <laughs> I was gonna say something crazy. I was gonna say that. Well, slave jeans. I was yeah. I was really. Oh, I was okay. actually gonna say that, <laughs> but I was like, maybe that's too much. So mm, I, 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 I walked. Yeah, so I backed up. Okay, cool, Hesh. I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to evolve as a person. I, I don't want your girl to hate me no more. Okay, let's see. She don't hate you, though. Know? She actually hates you. I feel bad, though. Yeah. No, I feel bad. <laughs> you know that? Like, like, she might like you more than me, type of oh. thing. Mm-hmm. Where, like, she hear my opinions on the show. She'd be like, I like her. She <laughs> like, both sides of the coin type of like, thing. Like, reasonable. Because I'm reasonable, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, who you fucking? Me and him. Damn. <laughs> and it's probably because of shit like that. Mm-mm. <laughs> I can't, I can't help it. I'm Corey Holcomb. I say what the fuck I feel. <laughs> no, you Corey Holcomb, I'm Kevin Hart. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. <position> shit. <laughs> oh, shit. But whatever. <laughs> oh, she gonna kill me for that. I, I know. <laughs> I'm aware. Oh, I hate when I tell bitches what I do. And, then just... and now she supports you. Mm. <laughs> and it backfires. No way. <laughs> it backfires because she's supporting you. Yeah, like, go away. Don't be supporting me. Mm. Yo, next topic, bitch. Uh, <laughs> <edit. laughs> yeah. So, um. Wait, I'm scrolling too far. Bob's Burgers will recast. The black transgender character Marshmallow. Mm-hmm. So, I well, mean, this, 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 this is just another in a long line of like play K and then like, oh, they're there, Negroes. So, Here you go. Riddle me this, Batman. Mm-hmm. Didn't we ask for like police reform? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just want to make sure that's what we was originally asking for. Oh, I, to, yeah. I, didn't, I haven't seen nothing about that. <laughs> we asked for justice. We asked for police reform. Excuse me, defunding the police. Yeah. We asked for everything but this. Yeah. And again, I'm not mad what at happening? them changing the voice, whatever. That's fine. I don't have an issue. Like the same thing. I didn't have an issue with uh, Big Mouth and whatever the fuck we was talking about last week. Mm-hmm. So I don't have the issue with them making the appropriate change for that if they feel ne- necessary to do that. Mm-hmm. But this ain't nothing we would ask for. <laughs> like, no, all they're going to do is get somebody from polls and fucking <laughs> polls. <laughs> they ain't fine. As long as they, they give, do. give them niggas a job. Uh, mm, yeah, give them niggas a job. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> But it's the fact that... I'm, I'm just trying here, dog. So, so, now we have, so now we're checking off boxes and it's becoming annoying. I mean, but you like, should. It was, it was, it was, it was annoying a, a, a week ago, but now it's like, it's, all right, enough yeah. is enough. Yeah, well, like, now, you're, now you're just doing too much. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's one of the things, like, I'm not mad at the idea of it because it's like, fine, that's cool. I understand representation matters. We should do it. And if they want to do it. Because the fact if, the if, it feels. It, Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was just saying, it feels phony because obviously, if you really gave a fuck, you'd have gave a fuck when you made the character. But yeah, exactly. They don't want to do it. If you wanted to do it when you initially made the character, you would have done it. Yeah, but then again, it's, you can make the argument if you 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 know better when you know better. So they maybe they didn't think think anything of it before, and now like, oh, okay, I see how that could be. Blah blah blah. So, like I get it. Quick question. But police reform. Unrelated to this topic. Well, kind of related to this topic. Well, it is related to this topic. Would you die if it brought if it brought about this type of change? Hmm? No. Like like if like if it meant your <laughs> life, like if, if you were to lose your life, but it would cause all of this, where where we have the protest and taking down of statues, we have uh white people that are now woke. If if your life could bring about this type of change, would you do it? How painfully. Um, how painfully? No, nah, it matters. I mean, it. You tell Jesus that. You, I mean, you, like, it, it's it might be pain, but you know, it ends at some point. So it's like, <laughs> you, but you point. you okay? So you're dead. I don't think there's no there's there's like few painless ways to die. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, you catch a bullet to the heart. That's like an instantaneous death, right? Like, say. 
or like I mean maybe but I mean maybe there's pain the that ever ha- have ever classified that shit ever been shot in the heart <laughs> so <it's- laughs> touche nigga so uh, but I mean I guess anything where your brain just automatically shuts off quick like if it's you know anything where that happens like theoretically but- you figure you wouldn't feel pain because your brain dead okay we're not talking about pain <laughs> like that so ultimately you're dead you oh, cease wow. to exist your soul has left the earth uh yeah if you died but it brought about this type of change where it's like everything that's happened since george floyd has passed would you give your life for it i think uh theoretically in the back of my mind i feel like yeah sure why not i don't really yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) it was just a random question i I don't know why would you um Selfishly, yes, in the grand scheme, no, wait. Other way around. Yeah, other way around. So in the grand scheme, yes, selfishly, no. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I'm a kid, I, I want to experience more things, I want to do more things. But if it ultimately brought, if it ultimately made a better world for my daughters, I would. Yeah. So, I mean, I would miss out on, you know, obvious things like graduations and, you know, grandkids and like just life in general. Yeah. But if I brought about a better world for my kids, for them to live in where they didn't have to worry about certain shit, I think I would. I don't know. That's a, that's a rough thing. It's like, do you want to live your life? Yes. But do you want things to change? Yes. Yes. But it's like, why should I have to give my life? Like, like why my life in order for shit to change? <laughs> I, I mean, you can ask anyone whose life changed something, that question, I guess. Mm-mm. I mean, if if I could ask like a Malcolm X, a Martin Luther, a George Floyd, uh, like a Rosa Parks, something like that, where it's like we've had significant change since you guys have passed. Well, have, not, they, have we really? I mean, with Martin. We have changed. With, with Martin and Malcolm, it was a shift. We weren't alive to see it, but there was a definite shift. Rosa Parks, she didn't die because of what she stood up for, but, you know, she definitely shifted some shit. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a bunch of people that have died for the cause that have shifted some shit. Yeah. It's, but George mm. Floyd was, wasn't an activist, wasn't a politician, wasn't, you know, uh, a spokesman for anything. He was just a man that was wrong place, wrong time, having to die. And then this happened, though, over the course of, you know, the time that he's been dead to now. My unfortunate question to that, though, is what happened? What's actually changed? Yeah, that's another thing. You don't want to give your life and then 50 years, it goes right back to the shit we just came out of. Which happened with, like, if you could say, like, all the time. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah, look. 50 years into the future right now. I'm talking about just right now. Then I ain't doing it. (laughs) Even right now, what's, like, I'm good. Even even right now, what's really changed? We got a few black squares on the internet. (laughs) <laughs> they might change the Redskins name. Uh, Twitch uh, blackout. Uh, there's uh, there might be a, a transgender person playing a transgender cartoon character. Like, but what have we actually gotten that's significant? Okay, but before his death, uh-huh. we would have been in the same narrative, the same boat, the same you know structure that America has been. And now that he untimely passed, uh-huh. a lot has happened. A lot of reform has happened. A lot of awareness has happened. A lot of, you know, marches and protests and riots have happened. A lot of, a lot of, there, there has been a, a a light bulb effect. You know what? Uh, now that you say that, I've heard people, like I, I went down a rabbit hole about Martin Luther King when he got murdered. They said the yeah. same thing happened when Martin Luther King got murdered. Like people were fucking shit up. Right, yeah. They were, yeah. They were yeah, and, people, uh, people fuck shit up when, when, when like niggas we fuck with die. We fuck yeah. shit up. Yeah, so it's like the Ashes point. What changed? Yeah, like, I've, I mean, we can't expect like a complete 180 overnight because he passed, but we can, but you see gradual steps towards something. We don't, we don't just see like, oh, he, like he, he isn't unfortunately like other people that have been murdered by the cops. Whereas like, oh, right, okay, so we pick it in protest for like two weeks and then we forget about it. Yeah. George Floyd actually, with his death, shit is happening. Yeah. 
I think <laughs> and so and it's far, been, it's been well over two months where it's yeah. like we keep seeing shit happening. Like yeah. this new cycle of news. I mean, not not news. Fucking um, voice actors giving up their roles. This is just like the, like the damn near lowest of the totem pole of shit that has happened. Yeah, but is it so, just for the moment? Yeah, that's why I'm afraid. I will say I do think we have more awareness. So that's probably the one thing that seemed to change. How long that actually matters for, we'll see. Is obviously you're right, it's only been two months. Yeah. But in terms of like things shifting, this it's been minuscule at, at best. A few companies are being held to task. A lot of them are just placating niggas like we've we've talked about before. Yeah, but can we like what's how, the what's the permanent real how authentic is this shit though yeah <laughs> i mean we won't know like you said you want to jump 50 years we can't do that so we can only deal with what we have right now so as of right now we can only do so much because of the virus and you know just i guess actual legislation yeah and, and legislation yeah, takes time you, yeah it takes time it's just one uh, of those things like uh like i was watching um the bruce lee documentary be water Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> to and this, yo, this shit was like what the seventies, and yeah. Bruce Lee was going through the same shit motherfuckers going through now, like lack of diversity. They see Chinese people as a certain way, so Hollywood wouldn't cast Chinese people. They cl- cast John Wayne to play Genghis Khan. I'm like, Put fuck, him in the man, this shit is still going yeah. on. Like every mm-hmm. time you hear a story like that, it's like, damn, like what is actually changing? <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, we don't, we don't know the full effect of the change until it actually happens. But, you know, as of right now, we're riding this wave of hope. It's, it's, it's just a wave of hope right now. It's just yeah. like, we, we can only hope that, you know, the right people do the right thing and the right things change. As of right now, we just crossing our fingers and hoping something good happen. I don't know. We, I we just, don't know I just, I'm not super confident today yeah in this moment like we've gotten anywhere significant i think I, and obviously this stuff is new everything is new right in the grand scheme of how long people have existed in the world even just america's new um so it's gonna take time i'm aware of that but i just don't know if we changed anything yet it doesn't feel like it we've got a few things people are taking the task sort of Mm. but i don't know what's what's the what's the change like what is something we could point to that's significantly different besides voice actors some black squares companies say they fuck with us but they we don't know if they really fuck with us they say it in the black national anthem at their games now but that's like placating yes yeah, washington redskins they've been the uh, na- the the native people have been saying how that that shit has been racist for as long as my brain has been had thoughts mm-hmm. yeah and and now they're gonna review changing it they're not even they didn't even promise to change it yeah they said they we're just gonna look into it. it think about it so basically they say hey well they're like oh we decided not to and they keep think it going. like a money aspect that's why that's only real the, what's the money <laughs> if, if, if nike pulls up if you nike stops selling your shit you're not making money right if yeah but nike has to, so once you start losing money and once someone else gets on board and says hey we had enough of this shit so the only money aspect is that you know the redskins is is not a household name but it's a recognizable name so it's like you know it's offensive but you know we've been known at the We've been that's known as the Washington Redskins for umpteenth years. So now we have all this merch, all this, that, and the third. Now we got to change this and that. And, you know, we don't, do we, do we really want to change what the people know as us? Yes. Cause how many basketball teams have changed their names? That's bullshit. They, it's, they could fucking change the name of that football team if they wanted to. They could, but it's not lose anything in the process, really. I don't think. I mean, you know, the most, well, I don't care. Washington did it. I mean, the Washington uh, Wizards the, did it. The Pel- yeah, the Pelicans, right, or whatever, and fucking uh, Pelicans. I don't know. The Hornets, what, or was whatever. Or was that something? No, no, but no, no, no but the uh, the Washington Wizards changed their name from the Washington Bullets because yeah. you know bullet, bullet. There, there was violence in the DC area, so they didn't want to be associated with the violence, so they changed their name. Everybody else, they just changed their name because the shit probably sounded dumb. <laughs> but they, but, but, I still don't know what the fuck. There, there's no Pelicans in, in New Orleans, to my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like the Utah Jazz should I'm be sure New Orleans Jazz to me. I'm pretty sure there's Pelicans, and I would assume. I would, yeah, I, would, but, I would just assume. But you know what makes more sense to me? The New, jazz. New Orleans Jazz. No, I, I feel you, though. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah, yeah. I feel you, you right. but I'm sure the state has birds in it. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. The New Orleans birds? <laughs> That's what they gonna call it? The birds? Oh. What happened to, that, what happened to that boy? <laughs> uh, oh, man. Oh. I don't know. I just don't have that much faith. In, <laughs> just to get back to the original point, I just don't have that much faith in humanity. I didn't oh, give up on this shit. It is what it is. Like, humans are fickle. Very fickle. Why is this show a thing? I don't know. Ask my sh- I ask myself that every Sunday. Why is this show a thing? I don't know. <laughs> so transgenders getting a job now. Hope black trans black transgenders hopefully getting a job now in, in uh animation. I'm with it. Cool, but it's just Fox is fake. Fuck y'all. Um, let's see. On to some darker dudes. So this is the dark segment of the podcast. <laughs> um, Adam Savage's sister um has been quietly blogging about him allegedly raping her as a child. Yeah. Okay, that. Now, is the Miss Buster, dude. For the people that don't know, who is Adam Savage? He's one of the hosts of Mythbusters, right? The one with the glasses, the one yeah, yeah, not with guy. the weird beard. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, the one not with the weird <laughs> beard. So, the, 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 the energetic one. The... Uh, yeah, yeah, so apparently um, he started this when she was like 11 or something like that. So, I think yeah, seven and uh, he like was that. like, she was like seven and he was like 12? Yeah, she was seven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it, it so it ranged the whole spectrum of like molestation and rape and stuff like that. So you know we're not gonna get into details about what it was, but she has been quietly blogging now under I guess a, like a a fake alias, Nom de Plume, and um she's been blogging about this for a while and uh, recounting stories of when this was happening. I mean it's not happening now that they're adults, but you know for for how long it lasted, and she's just recounting things and now. He's been uh, brought to the forefront as the latest person to probably get canceled. Yeah. Um, what this solidified for me is that this shit happens way more often than we talk about. Oh, yeah, of course. It happens in families no, that don't no, talk I'm about it. About like, like, overwhelmingly, like... Yeah, it's a dark scene that no one wants to talk about. Is that, like... I, I don't want to put math to it, but it might be, like, one out of every six type of shit. I think shit. it's more than that. Like, it's like often like I can't tell you how many women have confided in me and told me about stories of like rape molestation like just sexual and like it's a lot Mm -hmm. so yeah like it's just like uh even though I don't like Tyler Perry movies for the content like a lot of that shit he puts up is true shit like you you wonder why when your family come over they start arguing over little shit and make it a big thing they stop talking to each other for like months come to find out Somebody def- did something in the family and they don't want to bring it up. It's definitely like your uncle is your dad type of shit. Yeah. It's it's definitely like, oh, he's the come like your brother used to touch me. Or it's like, oh, uncle such and such or auntie such and such used to do this, that, and the third. It's definitely one of them. Um Yeah, it's it, it it's 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 like I'd be in jail. Like I don't I don't know. Like yeah. it, like, like I would hope if that would if like if that ever happened to my daughter she would tell me i'm gonna just give her all the hugs and kisses i can that day because i'm going to jail yeah <laughs> yep. so it's die. somebody gotta die that some like when she tell me somebody gotta die that day <laughs> so um, but but what do you do if i don't know if, if his parents are still alive but what do you do when that's a sibling and y'all in the same household though well like, i think his mom's alive because uh, I think she was in the article. They were talking about her response in her article, in the yeah, article or something like that. That's that's wow, though. Like, what do you do? I don't know. <laughs> um, so it's like most people know. like when when this happens to a lot of people. Most no, actually, I, I, let me take that back. I know what you do. You you call fucking cops. You do what you're supposed to do at mm-hmm. at six. Well, so you can't send him to jail, but you can probably get him some fucking help because he might need some fucking but help. Well, he, he but he wasn't six; he was like twelve. I no, opinion. but you don't know what's wrong uh, if it's happening. You, you know, know what's, what's wrong at six, huh? You don't know what's wrong at six. He wasn't six. No, I'm talking about her. I, 
Well, I, well, then you're supposed to. Well, I mean, I, I don't have kids, but I'm, I'm okay. Fairly so, certain you have probably if you haven't yet, yeah, or you might soon have the conversation about space and touching. I mean, this happened. I mean, this happened things, 20, 30 years ago. Which okay, different times. So, I guess me, people yeah, didn't talk about stuff that same way. Different times, but it's just like you don't know what's bad at six, seven, eight. You just thinking that like you know this is like you don't like you're so it's it's the water. It's like Bill Burr throwing the water at a kid. You don't know is like you don't know what's going on at that point. So it's like, how do you verbalize this to an authority figure or like your mom or like your dad? But when it's your brother, how do you tell your parents like, yo, your son is 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 doing like he's invading my personal space? Like he's like yeah. what dog? I don't know. What do, you do I wonder where you get <laughs> it from? Like like some people like at this at, that too. That's another thing. This are oh, you saying hurt people, hurt people, something like it, that. It, it, it could be the R. Kelly thing because that's that's what they're saying why he did what he did because he was molested by his sister. So it's like I did like somebody did that to me. It's the only way I can you know either this is a learned thing or either in my head what I know is right or like to pass this trauma on. I have to do it to somebody else. So it's like, but what do you do? Like most people at this point, they would have committed suicide. They'd be in like psychiatric psychiatric treatment. Like it's a whole bunch of shit. But she decided to blog, and that's how she gets her pain across. Yeah, I don't know. I what didn't do. I don't know. I don't have the answer for that. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, it was it was it was rhetorical. I don't know. I didn't yeah. I, I, I didn't I didn't expect you to give me an answer, but yeah, that's wild. But um. YouTube star Shane Dawson apologizes again for videos of sexualizing and wow, yes, mm-hmm. an eleven-year-old Willow, mm-hmm. Willow Smith. Wow, <laughs> is, yeah. is, is, is this with my hair days? Yeah, that's exactly what it probably. is. Probably, probably around there. That's exactly what it is. Fam, <laughs> I'm teaching my girls to shoot. <laughs> bang bang, like. I can't, I can't do this shit. Like I, like I would hope that I've done enough in my daughter's life by the time she reaches, by the time she reaches a legal age that I've taught her everything that I could possibly teach her for her to be okay in this world. If all else fails, baby, shoot these niggas. Mm, Yeah. Well, let me be clear. He didn't touch Willow or anything like that. What he did, he made a skit. Or he like simulated he jerk it off, off yeah, no, 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 through no, no. a picture of, of no, no, no. yeah. But I'm just saying the way you're the way you're saying it. You it's know. not like somebody assaulted her I'm, I'm, and she got to no, shoot no, no, a nigga no, no, back. No. Yeah, no, no, no. whatever. You have what? a daughter. I know. No, <laughs> oh, I, I don't think you're listening to okay. me. I, I'm thinking you're you're seeing it like no. I'm not saying no, it like he touched her. I'm just saying like no, he. I know, what, I know what sexualizing means. You just look at her in a certain light that's not appropriate for her. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I know that. I thought you was. I thought you was thinking that maybe the dude was touching her. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I all, know right, all right, gotcha. I know, I know. The, the Continue. I'm, I'm saying so. Continue. So, this is dads, right? Yeah. Like, no, nah, I'm like, with you. I'm with you. Go ahead. Your daughter is like five or whatever, six, whatever, something. I'm with you. Something. You gotta die. Go ahead. She age. Yeah, so, that's all I'm getting to, my nigga. Got, like, yeah. somebody, but now nah, it was just the way, like you was oh, wording it. I was like, wait, I don't want him to get the think like he actually touched her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how I was seeing it. So it it was like I see this a lot. Where like on the news where um the fuck was it? It was on um it was on one of them Nancy Drew shows. I forgot what channel that shit comes on, but it was like when people post pics of their kids online and mm-hmm. then like people that they're friends with online save those pictures and they sexualize them children type of thing. Uh, and then they find hey. out like in, in some wayward way. Uh-huh. Like you were sexualizing my like it's like you know when um People post pictures of their kids in like the bath. Bathtub, yeah, shit like that. Like yeah. they'll post pictures of their kids in like a bathing suit or something like that. But then they'll find out like someone was like <clears throat> someone that, that they were friends with on a on a social media site was sexualizing their child. Yeah. So it was like you gotta die. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like I, so, I don't what. So I was my and so first off, before I say the thing I'm gonna say is he's nasty. Yeah. I don't agree with that I'm not trying to shoot a nigga, no type of bell. My only thing was, I think he's gay. Yeah, he is. And I feel like he was doing it as a, like a... Shock jock. Like a, yeah, like a funny, quote unquote, funny skit thing. Don't still nasty. Right yeah, still nasty, still wrong, still gross. I just, you know, I don't, I don't even know why. I don't know. I just 
I wanted to put that information out there, but no, but still, it's gross. It's bad. Okay. Don't do it. She was 11 at the time. You're a grown ass man. It's there's wrong. Nothing, there's nothing funny about that. There's no, no entertainment in that. It's wrong all across the board. Yeah. When it's my child, it's extra wrong. All bets off. Yeah. I feel whatever. You. Whatever I do after that, it's on God. <laughs> it's, 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 dog, it's up to the high Kobe Christ. Kobe, look out for me, dog. Let me get this. Let me get these sixty-one points on this nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna send somebody to you. On this nigga. I'm gonna send somebody to you. You judge him, okay? Because <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know how I would react. Yeah, I, and, and I don't know what the joke is in that. I don't, like, I don't know. But that's what that's how white people should I think too, because he's white. So it's like yeah. now, see. Glad you said it. <laughs> because a lot of this shit sounds like that. White people humor. Yeah, they they, 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 they go fall different. They do have a different level of joking that us Negroes just don't fathom or cross. Yeah. Um speaking yeah. of the Smiths. <clears throat> is on here. Long well, Alcina. Alcina. Says Will Smith gave his blessing to have a relationship with Jada Pinkett. Damn. I just, where's the comic books in this? Hmm? <laughs> what happened? Why is this in here? What? Like we know, we know Will. We know okay, Jada. we know. Ah, you right. You know? yeah, we talk about Will. So Jim and I, Jim and I man, that's what we talk yeah, about. Yeah, man. Talk about. You know, it's Chris, Chris's Chris. guy. You know, double, double. <laughs> so, Never mind. T- my opinion is, hey. As long as they have an agreement in the marriage, I don't give a fuck. What two people doing in their marriage, I don't give a fuck. Consenting adults. As long as they consenting adults. Consenting adults. If the world happened to find out about this shit, well, that's a different story. Well, that's the problem because the world didn't happen to find the world, out. The world didn't have <laughs> to know this. This nigga told me. Yeah, he stole, spit the beans, man. This nigga told me, yeah, bro. Whatever she put that fucking doing. fire on that nigga. But, <laughs> and he had to let him know. It's a, it's a thing of like, why get married? Well, I mean, if if you hear how they explained it in that one episode that everybody's clipping out was like, she's saying, if I'm marrying somebody, I'm marrying them. We're staying together. And that's the thing. Like, we can work this out. And even if we're going to, we staying in this house, even I'm, I'm over on one side of the house. Well, yeah, but I'm you fucking... also realize that you're humans. Hmm? Yeah, but I think, so it's like a, well, marriage is like a partnership. So like, if you see it as mm-hmm. a partnership and they work well as a partnership, but maybe like she wants nasty shit and we don't want to <laughs> pee on her or something. I don't know. But <laughs> Just not, well, maybe she wants some shit yeah. that he don't want to do, and she's like, "Oh, well, cool, find somebody who'll do it." Either that, or us as humans miss newness. That too. New, mm, new, mm. just flavors. New pussy is exciting. Damn, now I'm thinking, who did Will Smith fuck? Margaret Robbie. I've heard they said that. Oh, I've I've heard a rumor. I heard uh, Ava Mendez too. E- I've Ava. heard a rumor about him and Gabrielle Union when they were shooting Bad Boys. Bad Boys, yeah. So we've we've heard of these things before, but it's still like, but we never had this much of a confirmation. Yeah, we never had like, this nah, much I fucked it. <laughs> Damn near. And it was like, hey, hey, Angela, uh, you want to hear something? Uh, I fucked it. <laughs> yeah. Nigga fell in love, man. Yep. I she put that fire on that nigga. Yeah. Fire. Yo, somebody somebody put up a a poll. It was like who got the who got the most dangerous pussy? Fucking Erica Badu or <laughs> Jada oh, no, Pinkett. I, st- I, I still think it's Erica Badu. No, I think it's Jada because that nigga's willing to die. <laughs> he said I can that's die. Point. I, that's also a good point. The nigga said I can lay him down my life after yeah. that pussy. You're correct. Nigga, doing some Romeo and Juliet shit. But the only reason why I say Erica Badu is because there's there's common before Erica and then common after. And then Andre 3000 before Erica and then after. Yeah, the nigga was wearing goat pants. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had on football. That nigga had on football gear, a fuzzy hat, and like some uh some hammer pants or some shit. Like he had on the wildest. She fucked him so good he lost his fashion sense. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Started wearing his short pants and shit. Yeah, <laughs> lost his guy. He had a platinum fucking whatever the fuck you want to call that. Yo, keep that pussy away from me. I don't want it. Mm. But like, then again, I feel, I feel like old girl that had me watching Dragon Ball Z all day just so I can nah. learn. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would that would make you want to watch Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> and we that all make you want to watch Dragon Ball GT. Yeah, G. That's what I meant. GT. It'll make it'll make you watch Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> well, I mean, mm. I don't want it. But would you, but would it make you want to? 
be willing to die. <laughs> yeah. I don't know yet. That's a new shit. He, I mean, he, Bobby got a point. Then they yeah. said, I, I can die now. Yeah. I never <laughs> felt any way like that before. I'm ready to die. He yeah, said, I can shit. die. Have, have you ever read the Tupac fucking quote? Yeah, Tupac was, said, you know, like, you know, she made me uh, climax yeah, without, without, sex. without sex. That's powerful, man. Was she used twin forks? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what kind of life you be living? Yeah, with? Of <laughs> Never said like. Dung, nun, 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 yeah, like, I, I, like <laughs> okay. Kobe. Well, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh man, but um. All in all, this is none of our business. It's not. Is that the name no. of the episode twenty four? Huh? Is that the name of episode two to four? Two to four. It goes with the audible sound, like with the audible part. It's all about sounds. Uh, uh, let's see what. Uh, let's let's see what Mark Cooper say. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I forgot about that. <sighs> see, nigga, we got stuff to do. <sighs> um, let's see. On to some gaming news. Warzone adds two hundred players to the battle royale. So I'm guessing that's four teams and 50 each. I don't know. That's too many people. Or 18 to 25 each. Who knows? No, no, no. That, that's like for the war zone. That's like four squads, four man squads. So it would just be 200 or just more the people board. on. Yeah. The, it's just more niggas on the, on the screen. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so it's four squads, but it's 200. Yep. So 200 divided by four. Make that make that math. Yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So oh, how many teams? Let me see. Wait, where the fuck is on calculator? Oh, all our niggas went. To, we all went to school. We can't figure it out. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, <laughs> wait, two hundred? You said? Shit, shit. Yeah. yeah. Fifty teams. Yeah. Fifty teams. Yeah, fifty teams. That's about right. That's a lot of niggas. Yeah, it is. Imagine you the last nigga left on your team, and you gotta take down like twenty three more. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm hiding. <laughs> fuck that. Let them just. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is this good or bad for war? Are, is is Warzone trying to up the ante? Are they are they trying to outdo Fortnite in some weird way? Are they are, are they competing or are they trying to set their own precedent? Well, it seems like they're just trying to figure out their own thing, right? The two hundred is new. I don't think any other game does that many people that I know of. Yeah, they're trying That's to keep it fresh. Yeah, it's a lot of niggers. Yeah. Are there servers? Is there is there ping? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, how are we doing two hundred people? Like how many people are gonna? So I'm, I'm guessing out of 200 people, at least 12 are gonna drop out because of like the internet issues. So you don't even like have to worry about. So that's like what 88, one 188 people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I figure they gotta have some type of like they would they, they would have planned for the amount more people being on the server at once. I yeah, figure they would accommodate that before they rolled it out. I would assume. I would hope. Yeah, Activision's been around for a long time. They know yeah, so I'm figuring they got that shit worked out. Hopefully. Mm. We can only hope because we uh put this on people a lot where it was like, oh, the game comes out. Oh, they got all the bugs fixed. You know, it's it's, it's out, so, it's, so it must be completed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then it actually happens, and then it's like, yo, this shit is bucky as fuck. True. <laughs> Slow as fuck. True. The ping is like two <laughs> something milliseconds. It's like ping horrible. Is two. Ping is, it, it's horrible. So... I mean, this in theory it sounds good, but can they actually pull it off with you know fluid gameplay? Who knows? I'll never know because um, I don't play Warzone. Giancarlo Esposito. Yep. Esprositos. Hinted <laughs> working on a huge video game. That's Gus Fring from Breaking Bad. For those of you yeah, who don't know, yeah, yeah. Do, do we think it's Star Wars? Related? Maybe. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I was because I was trying to figure out like who because he's like it's a big it's like a big game, but he can't talk about it. And I was like, well, that's vague as fuck, dog. I have no idea what it could be. Any million <laughs> things in the world, right? Uh, but maybe it could be Star Wars. It could be. I forgot he was in the Mandalorian, so it could be Star Mandalorian. So yeah, um, something like that. Could it be Grand Theft? That would be cool. Oh, Grand Theft Six. He oh, gonna play. He gonna play oh shit! If he play son. Gus. He gonna open up some pollo locos. <laughs> he, could, he could play. He could play the, uh, like one of the, I guess, the cartel bosses or like any type of like you know somebody that you gotta do a mission for. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, I'm thinking of big games. Big yeah. game. Yeah. Could be anything. It could be some unannounced new game that no one knows anything about. Like it's that's it's so vague and so open. Yeah, well, why like, why it announce be... it now? 
Well, I think he was just having an interview, and maybe he's just like, you know how niggas just be talking. Yeah, yeah. Mate, I mean, you don't know how big the game is going to be until... I mean, we don't. We didn't know how big Cyberpunk might have been until, like, a uh, E3 showcase. So I would think that, you know, if he's working on something big, it's already something established. So it's like a company that has a name. It's, it's something that has a name attached to it, where it's like, when you see my name attached to this and the company is from, you know it's something major. Like, I don't just uh, attach my name to anything. He's going to be in... I'm thinking, I'm thinking Rockstar or I'm thinking Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, the Star Wars one makes kind of sense. I, for, I forgot he was in the Mandalorian, so it actually kind of makes some sense. Yeah. So that's my only two guesses, unless it's some Disney, sh- some other Disney shit. Mm. Um, He's going to be in Dance Dance Revolution. <laughs> All right, so Forza. <laughs> Forza will be, wow, Forza will ban players who who have a Confederate flag on their car. Yeah. So you're telling me Forza gives the option, but will ban you if you put it on there? No, it, I think it has like a customization mode customization, where you can, you can make, like make. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people was making a Dukes that has the car and it had the Confederate flag on it, so you can't do that. <laughs> yep. The general? No, is it the general? That's the car? Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Some, some yeah. races, <laughs> some races. <In> general, <laughs> good old boys. Um, is this too much? No, cause fuck the Confederate flag. Yeah. You're a dick. It's a video game now. <laughs> because you got to think about it. Um, what if is somebody had a swastika on it? In this freedom of speech, what if somebody had swastika on it? So swastika is allowed? No, Confederate okay. flag. That's his point. Yeah. Swastikas are offensive and shit because of what, what they represent. Yeah. Same thing as a Confederate flag, dog. Mm. But literally. Freedom of speech. What freedom of speech? You're not speaking okay, with so that. It's a flag. Right? Ain't no words in that. <laughs> okay. like, yo, freedom of expression? That's what you mean? <laughs> freedom of know. expression, freedom of speech. It's like, I don't, I don't think freedom of speech is like solely on you saying something i think it's like freedom of expression and i think that all falls into the same category well express these nigga. Yeah. okay so we're <laughs> that confederating right? okay express <laughs> these <laughs> nuts <laughs> oh, i mean i mean if you Art. if you're saying this too i don't know yeah I don't, I don't, because I, to me, to me, the Confederate flag has a, a, a very specific meaning and it doesn't mean whatever somebody white tries to convince me it means. Mm. Okay. To me, it, it, it means you, you fucking hate black people. I know that's not necessarily true. <laughs> I know that's not automatically true because I know in the South, it is a big thing and it's like a pride oh, here just thing, really. So you could like the Confederate flag and not hate black people. I understand there is room for that nuance, but it represents something to them. Something evil to people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the swastika like me. meant something to some Germans. What? I mean, <laughs> can they the swastika that mean some. I mean, even that, the swastika means something completely different. It's like a Buddhist type yeah. of the whatever the fuck. Yeah, took it. Yeah. Completely different to what the fuck they uh, made it to but be. If you, but yeah. if you're in Germany, you're not going to see it on yeah, anything. You're not. You're, you're not putting it in anywhere. They're, they're like, oh, we fucked up. We're ashamed of this. That was bad. Our bad. They actually apologize. It's like, oh, we fucked up. America, it's like, huh, <laughs> or, y'all whining. Yeah. <laughs> y'all should just get over it. <laughs> Stop being pussy because <laughs> we killed y'all. <laughs> Just get over it. <laughs> That's what we get in America. But you know, whatever. All right, cool. So, uh, Fortnite screened anti-racism film all day for Fourth of July movie night. Yep, I did not watch that. I feel like that's a little much. But go ahead, go off, nigga. Well, you got shoving down their throats, man. <laughs> yeah, let the nigga know. I mean, yeah, you got informed the little niggas. But I don't know. Whatever. Do what you do. Do do. Why? Do. So we so we went from Travis Scott to just <laughs> natural progressive from black to black. Yes, yeah, great, great, good. I'm not with it. Like conceptually, I'm I like I'm not mad at like oh cool, but it's also like dog. I can see like you're just sort of placating. It feels that way. Not it's even the, kinda. Speaking of what Fortnite, not? didn't they take the cops, cop vehicles out of their they shit? They did take out the, yeah. the popo. Do that too, they're offensive. Whatever, man. I ain't yeah. with this. It's just stupid. Yeah, it's like... We don't want this. We didn't ask for this. But what are... And this goes back to the conversation we were having earlier. Yeah, this is, this is cool. That's fine, whatever. But what are you actually doing? Nothing. How many black people are on your board? Are you hiring more black people at your company? Are you making like what like what are you actually doing? Yeah, play a video for a day on the Fourth of July, and then then what? 
we just gonna pretend like nothing else happens. It's like, yeah, that shit is cool. It's fun. It's pretty. It's cute. Whatever. Yada yada yada. Bing bing. But like, what are you actually doing? Like, bomb bombs and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you actually doing? Nothing. nothing. Get the fuck out my face, then. A bunch of nothing. Fuck out my face, then. Don't talk to me. Um, the Smash Brothers community has been uncovering numerous sexual misconduct allegations. I don't understand. This is the month of nasty. Yeah, it is. No, it's just a life of nasty. That's the problem. Niggas just been nasty since since birth, but it's just now everybody <laughs> talking about it. Nasty since birth. But why are we doing it now? Uh, because Me Too Part Nobody Two else? came up. So that nobody else yeah. like 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 the allegations that have been coming up have been coming from various industries. So mm-hmm. it's like, why are we all doing this now? Well, it's exactly what you said last week or the week before, or however many weeks ago, or maybe every week since this fucking happened. Niggas is bored and then that's better to do. And niggas yeah. is listening. Yeah. That's the that's the that's the other important part. Niggas is listening, and it seems to be changing. Some like people like some stuff is happening. So it's yeah. like if there's ever a time for me to say what I gotta say about the things I gotta say, I'm gonna say it now because now is the only time somebody might actually give a fuck. That's fucking wild. Yeah, and that things like this was rumored to go around for a minute. You, mean, I think we broke a we we said. Sp- and we mentioned a story about it. I think it was like two years ago, like um, at these tournaments that it was a lot of sexual allegations, but it was on the hush hush. Yeah. But now it's just I coming out, people getting exposed and shit. Like one person say something. What? Oh, me too. Me too. <sighs> but I, I would say this though. Like I kind of had to, I had to, I had to check myself. Uh huh. I had to check myself. Cause with the whole senpai thing mm-hmm. and the poop puppy shit, I really had to sit down and check myself because you know when everybody had that teacher that that was sexy in school, right? And you're you're young and the Come teacher's on. older. Miss Webster, Miss Styles, yeah, Miss Brownie, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, damn, Miss Howell, yeah, Howell, oh, woo, yeah. Um, God damn, I'm pretty sure every dude had that one teacher that was like I when they was younger. It was like I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind if she. But I had to check myself on. after seeing this video. That shit oh, look nasty. The aesthetics of it, the aesthetics of it looks nasty. Oh no, no he was a baby. Yeah, yeah but <sighs> it's he ain't no fucking man. He was a baby. How yeah. can I explain this without? You can't. That's <laughs> the thing. It's, it's, what? It's, it's, you can't justify that no type. Nah, of way. I can't because you can't justify it no type of way. That's not what I'm saying. But uh, it's different it's if not. you want it. I don't. I don't uh, know how to say that. You can say that. No, it's not. To R. Kelly. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. It's no, not. it's I, not. It's not I, different I, if you want it. It's no. Still... I'm saying like okay. So so you bring up R. Kelly, right? There was coercion in in that. There was like if you do this, I'll give you this. But I don't. Never mind. Not Forget all of them. I I understand yeah, the I, point. I, I, I can't explain it without it sounding crazy. I, yeah, I understand <laughs> your point that you're trying to say that as a young 14 year old boy, if you wanted like, this, as, as a young 14 year old boy, if you would like sexual you contact from a female. If 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 you looked at one of your teachers that type of way and shit having to pop off, and you don't look at it as that, I feel like never mind. Is but here's, but here, thing, though, so. yeah, here's the thing because standard, yes. <laughs> if, if if it was flipped and it was a 14 year old girl yeah. and a 24 year old man and she said she wanted it still, you'd be like, oh no, fuck that, he got to go underneath the jail. So you yeah. can't. This is why pedophiles, she pedophiles, me. rape is <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> rape is rape, <laughs> statutory <laughs> rape is statutory rape, pedophilia. Right. Right. It, it is what it is. It's like. Don't you, you don't slice the cake crooked, nigga. It is yeah. what it is. Like, oh, that's that a good one. Bars. Look at that. It's don't slice the cake the crooked. Fuck. Said. <laughs> uh-huh. This is wild. Huh? Well, it, this reminds me of some, of some shit that Charlemagne said. <laughs> well, where it was like, it, it was the same scenario of when, like, if your like, high school son got with a teacher, like, you wouldn't be, like, a little bit proud of him. I mean, mm. yeah, because because we're we're conditioned it's, poorly. We have been trained badly, dog. You're like that's, that's my what, boy. But then Angela Yee popped in and was like, "Nah, now nah, what if the roles were reversed?" And I forgot what he said, but I was like, you know, if it was your son, just a little bit, just a little bit. You you tell him that's wrong, but just for a second, you'd be like, "No, you would." Cool. Nah, it's this. I think it's but, the. It's like one of those things. I had to check myself. It's the aesthetics of it because when you reading it, like the whole senpai thing, the dude was fourteen. I was like, oh, fourteen? Okay. Now fourteen. I remember myself when I was fourteen. Fourteen, mm-hmm. I had a little bit of facial hair. You this know. motherfucker looked ten. Yeah. That yeah. shit looked crazy. That shit looked crazy. And I was thinking about like, 
feel like Bobby was born with a beard for some reason. <laughs> Me too. I born with no goddamn beard. I had a little peach fuzz. <laughs> I'm just saying, my 14, my 14 didn't look like his 14. You That's think it saying. didn't? You think it didn't, but to other niggas, Your it eyes. did. Yeah. I don't know. It, it was like when I put it in a group chat, and I was like, yo, this nigga's mad short. And then Donald was like, of course he's short. He's 14. I was like, no, nah, I wasn't that short when I was 14. This motherfucker looked but you like might have been. he should have been in Harry Potter. This nigga looked like he should have been in Harry Potter. He got, he got a baby face. Yeah, yeah, but you had a baby face. You just you just felt like you was older, so now you you look back at it Probably. and you had like like you was more grown than you really was. I mean, it's it's all around weird, and I hope people don't take what I said the wrong way. No, nah, I understand the point you're trying to make. Like, yeah, but mm, if it was like if smart. he if he wanted it, like how mad can you be? But then I mean, it's like we have yeah, this as a, as a 14 year old boy, you don't really know what's going on. You don't know that you know even if she is like older than you in legal that it is pedophilia pedophilia or it is like or statutory you know, rape at the very least you know, like rape or something like that but as a 14 year old boy you your hormones reading you just rape for like, some action oh to the <laughs> like mm-hmm. like oh she's you think, you think you think that teacher's like it and you yeah. like you know, if she come on to you on some shit where it's like like it's mad stories of high school students hooking up with like substitute yeah, and that shit happens a lot it happens yeah. a lot but it's like but i wanted it because i, I wanted it <laughs> <laughs> like, you know I mean, niggas I, is in jail because the younger girl was told me they wanted it. I mean, I, it no, is. no, exactly. I understand what you're saying, but you gotta no, no, flip no, no. it. That's what you're no, saying, no. though. No, 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 but that's no, what you're no. saying. That's, it's no. not different. What you no? What Bobby made it sound like is like I'm a nigga that wanted it and I took it. No, oh, no, 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 that's not what That's what he meant. That's you're implying. He's saying how many. I implied it, but in my head, that's how it sounded. That oh, might no. It, my, <laughs> what he what meant was, I'm just flipping it on you. I'm flipping it on his face on you. He's it's like, just how the, many people are in jail for having, yeah. cons, quote, unquote, because it's not consensual because they're yeah, under age, consensual sex with a minor. Okay. But the minor was a female and then the perpetrator was a male. He's right. saying, right. like, if it's wrong one way, it's got to be wrong the other way. Yeah, and you can't. It's, it's, you got to flip it on his face. You can't make it. No for that. Just say it, man. I know what I meant. No, I, 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 I know what again, you mean, but you got to flip it, man. You and I understand it what you side. mean. I under, and, I, and I don't necessarily know if I can a thousand percent like disagree with that sentiment because I understand. Because like, when I, if I was 14 and when my teachers wanted to fuck, I'd be like, yeah, let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. <laughs> it's like, let's do it. Like that, but, I, but also, we got to understand we've been conditioned yeah, poorly. Been we've been, condi- we've been, we've poorly. been conditioned poorly. That's we have been. And this is why. We, and then this exact type of stuff is why we're seeing all this wild and crazy shit where all these women's like, well, this dude did this type of shit to me and all this shit because we've been conditioned poorly. We've been trained poorly on how to interact and how to do these things. And now it, it was never okay, but now it's really not okay. And now it's, and it's coming back on people. Yeah. Like we were conditioned poorly to how to interact or go, or go after or be aggressive about certain shit or in the, in, Away, it's so much so to the point where people are doing shit and they don't know that they're, and that's what this is. The, this is where the, the problem is so big is because we're just doing stuff that we feel like we're supposed, like as a man, you're supposed to do, or we're supposed to act a certain way and do some right. stuff. And now it's like coming back, like just by being, by nature of being a man and doing certain actions, you're like some, and then some people are obviously taking it way further than other niggas. Like I'm just talking about regular interactions where. Someone was like, "Oh no, he just came off mad crazy. He sent me the wild, just off the cuff dick pic out the out the out, out the <laughs> out the blue like niggas, you know, like. But you for you think, oh, you just gotta be a grudge. You gotta tell, oh, I'm gonna fuck you so bad right now. Like you just wanna, yeah. And, and that shouldn't be a bag either. But uh, <laughs> but <laughs> it should it should it should But <laughs> but 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 you know, but you know that but you know that's how some niggas get down. Oh shit. That's how some that's how some people are. Like it's it like shouldn't be my bag, but <laughs> it shouldn't. It is. It shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, like the wild, aggressive, wild, like just you know, you've seen it. Or if you haven't seen it, some girls definitely told you some shit about some nigga was wilding. Definitely. Yeah, like you know, I've I mean? heard many a story. Yeah. Like I can't I can't even begin to discuss the stories that I've heard that are like just wow. Downright just you should be dead or in jail. Like, like, like type of shit. It's 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 not, but it's like it's it's it's. it's... Yeah, I don't I don't I... Like, I don't I don't I don't like how powerless that women feel. And like that 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 alone feels wrong to me. Yeah, and we like, like it, it feels like disgusting. And we are none the wiser until you like. But for the, the fact, most part, 
a lot of these men were the wiser. So Some of them. It's, it's like, I can't even begin to tell the, tell the stories that I've heard, but this? It's, it's wild. But, um, sickle mode, nigga. Sickle mode. <laughs> sickle mode. I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to make it a joke. You have to. I know. Cause... Keeps it light. Yeah. Um, Last of Us, Last of Us 2 voice actor threatened by fans. Now, without giving spoilers of what, have you played Last of Us 2, Hesh? I have not played it, but I fairly certain I have what happened spoiled for me, and I understand, and I think I know why they're upset. Okay, Bobby, have you played Last of Us 2? No, it's on the way. Okay. So what's happened is that um, the Last of Us voice Last of Us Two voice actor, the main character actor, has um, I, I guess some some people have have beat the game and you know they they've gotten to a certain point and uh, they feel I, I guess these is like like these incel niggas. I would like, assume what I think I would assume it's incel. yeah I would yeah. assume it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it's a lot of these incels and then um, they feel. Betrayed, they feel <laughs> conflicted, confused about what happened in a video game. And now yeah. instead of you know threatening, you know, the writers or the director or the producers of the game, they went to the voice, voice actor. actor. <laughs> Not the person who wrote the game, who came yeah, in the story. <laughs> What? Yeah. Okay, you did not need to say wow. that out loud, Bobby. That was the part I was. You know, I'm gonna just cut that. Please do. Yeah, because that, that was a mean spoiler. I don't even know if it's you not. I'm fairly certain that's what happened. Oh, uh, okay. I again, I, didn't, I haven't gone into spoilers, but just by reading what's going on, I'm fairly certain that what happened. Her character is the character. FYI, you ruined the game for me. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. I that's not the first time he's done that. <laughs> that was not. But I can't remember what I, I can't. I can't remember what it was, but he did some wild shit. Some like, and I, I, it was a game or a movie or something. Like I can't remember. Movie, I think. Oh no, yeah, yeah. It was like the yeah. I thought it was the this is us shit. No, no. What, what? Nah, was, I don't know. It was something, but he was just like he used to be flipping with shit. It was like, this dog. is us, and y'all still didn't get it. <laughs> so did I really spoil it? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's things to be spoiled in that movie. Yes, Bobby, if you've never seen it and you didn't know. Uh, Okay, so that's being blinked out, but still. Um, so yeah, she the, the the character did a certain act that people were not happy about, and for whatever reason, she's getting all the shit. They're, they're giving like threats, like "I'll kill you," "I'm gonna stab you," like they're like wilding. I'm like, dog, it's a video game, relax. At, at what point do you laugh at shit? You you mm-hmm. don't because one of these niggas can be fucking crazy enough to do it. That's the thing. You can't. Mm-hmm. Up. I mean, yeah, but if she's just walking down, like that's again, she's a woman. She can be fucking anywhere, and some random dude, ah, and she, you know what I mean, yeah. like because be fucking mad over a fucking video game. It's that's crazy, stupid shit that I could think of. Where it was yeah. like, you coming out a voice, a voice actor for doing her fucking job. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like, I guess it's crazy, and they need, ironic. they need. Uh, this why they need to like make prostitution legal, nigga. Yeah, I kind of I kind of agree with you now. No, I'm dead ass. Like if you if if that if that is the thing that is making them act this type of crazy in life, then just make prostitutes legal so they can just get the nut out and then not have <laughs> the to fucking be crazy. Yeah, get that shit out and not be so fucking crazy. Because like if 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 you're not getting pussy, makes you to go so crazy to the point where you're gonna threaten some random woman on fucking Twitter because a character in a video game did an action that you dislike, you have got to seek help. <laughs> Definitely. Like, literally. Like, figure it the fuck out. Somehow. <laughs> go to DR. Go <laughs> some... I don't know, nigga. Go to Brazil. Go wherever fuck you gotta go. Or just go get a therapist at the very least then, nigga, because you need fucking help. Mm-hmm. That's crazy to me. It's a fucking video game. Relax. Nuts. And you can be mad at what happened in the game, sure. Don't threaten a woman because she fucking did a, a role. <laughs> that's crazy. Job. Yeah, that's crazy. Fucking Fix your life. Fix your fucking life, nigga, because it is wrong. I am going to fix this nigga. <laughs> yeah, f- dog, for real. Because you living wrong, my nigga. DC Marvel news. Alien and Predator comics are now licensed to Marvel. E- so. So. Mm. What could this mean for the Marvel universe? Or what, or, or, universe? Or what could this mean for Alien? and or Predator. So when I was reading the article, they did say that they're not necessarily planning on 
doing a, like a Marvel and like Marvel crossover thing with those characters, but that doesn't mean it could never happen. Right. More so it's just them taking creative control of the comic books and putting out their own stories and, and making creative teams and just making a story. I like this. But, and, mm. but they could. Like, yeah, but, there's, but there's no, you don't want to see that? yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no world where that couldn't happen, and I'm obviously, I'm pretty sure it's going to actually happen. If we're being honest, mm-hmm. that'll probably happen sooner rather than later. I mean, it can't be canon, though. No, nah, it's not going to no, be canon not, shape. But they could like do like a, they could do like a, yeah, a what if or a one shot or just like a. Ooh, oh, here's a cool story. Yeah, mm. aliens land on on in Canada and move rooms like, oh <laughs> shit, mate. <laughs> oh shit, mate. <laughs> Australia? Yeah, whatever. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit, mate. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Oi. Oi, governor. Oi, governor. <laughs> My kill predator. Oh shit, eh? That, that's that is. In it. Hey. In <laughs> it. A Wolverine, in it. <laughs> um in it. Wow, more sexual allegations. It's just nasty uh, out there. New What's sexual misconduct uh, allegations service against Scott Robdale. Yeah. So, uh, what had happened with this with this man? Yeah, I don't even know that one. Oh, you don't know that one? I mean, I know it's uh, the comic book writer, I believe, right? Yeah, the comic book writer of uh, Red Hood Outlaws. Yeah. <laughs> Ironic. Uh, he's... <laughs> oh, because he's an outlaw? Yeah. Um, basically, I guess one of the females retweeted what he did, and let me see... He said, when I was young, Scott was helping me get started in comic books with scripts, etc., he also came to my work to meet, watch me without introducing himself and told, hello, <laughs> and told I should go to a foreign con with him so he could tie me up and abuse me. What, what, tie, tie me up? Yep. And abuse? Okay, cool. Yeah, Wallen. Dude, this is Wallen. Wallen. Uh, man. Do we cancel Scott? Do we get him the fuck out of here? I mean, that wasn't, that wasn't a great conversation. Uh <laughs> Uh, you can't be tying up people against their will. All right, so Scott is going. Um, is. <laughs> what I'm really scared of when it comes to this shit is how much stuff that we don't know about yet. Oh yeah, it's we're like we're like, we're like names that we know, like household names that we know, or just people that we have grown accustomed to over the past, you know, however long. I'm scared of that shit coming out too, because I don't want to look at somebody that I love in a different light. Like if some shit came about, like I don't even want to say a name, because I'm deaf, no down. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, don't, don't, don't bring that into the ether. But I got, I got, I got, a, I got a couple in my head. That... Well, I mean, I right, well, I'm not deaf enough now, so I'm, you know, Tarantino probably out there. Bang. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who else. I know Tarantino on my list because he got a foot fetish, and that's I find that weird. Yeah, um, that's weird to me. I don't know why niggas is in the feet. I don't know either, but I can't tell people like the way I'm in the thighs. People are in the feet. I don't yeah. know. I, I you not know, fair. Who, and I'm not saying who, who, yeah. who was who was old girl from um what's that what's that movie with uh Terrence Howard hustle 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 Taraji, hustle, hustle, flow? hustle flow. P. who was the uh no not Taraji, the other the other stripper the other prostitute who was that the black one or the white one the the black one. I don't know her name, I but I've seen her name. Her She was on name. Friday. It dis- yeah, it dismissed me. She said that she worked with some black directors that people know that mm-hmm. tried that shit. That I Harvey Weinstein shit. Blow? Yeah. Yeah. The one that, that was talking shit. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. She was Craig's girlfriend? Yeah. I did something. What's her name? Yeah. Yeah. I, can't remember. I don't know. I don't, for, I don't know her she name. He said it was some black directors that did some Harvey Weinstein shit. Ain't I'm yet. sure. It's that, that's the, the, we the know. nature of the beast. It's the nature just, of the beast. I, I'm just hoping it ain't Spike. I'm hoping it ain't I mean, F. Gary Gray. Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of rappers that did some foul shit. Def- oh, de- well, def- 100%. Unfortunately, definitely, because that's, again, that's the conditioning and the, the, the culture that you're fucking like taught to, to interact a certain way. Like, especially if you're like a rapper, you're supposed to treat women like shit to a certain extent. <laughs> damn, yeah, basically. I mean, I mean. That's like the stigma of a rapper. <laughs> yeah. You just fuck as many. Chicks that you can and then yeah. moving. Future got like six baby mamas. Yeah. Mm. They keep letting him reproduce. Mm-hmm. And they know he's not gonna really try to do shit for you. <laughs> like and then, and then be mad at him for like being him. <laughs> like, you mm. can't be mad at a duck for being a duck, my nigga. <laughs> like it's a sick game out here. <laughs> yeah. No, you can like if you if you mad at future, 
That's your fault. <laughs> like, be mad, at, be, be mad at you and your pussy, you dumb. Yeah, because you knew <laughs> from his, his three other baby mamas what you was probably gonna get. Like, like dead ass. If you become the sixth and you ain't learned shit from the first five, that's your dumb ass fault. A little bit. Mm. This this is the life you chose. Yeah, but nah, but she's different. She's gonna change him. <laughs> she was <laughs> until he moved on to seven. She belongs to the streets. Mm. Like, never mind. Man. Yes. You have to relax. I stopped myself. <laughs> Not myself. <laughs> I stopped myself. You don't even know what I was going to... Huh? You don't even know what I was going to say. I don't... I, once, I, once I listen back, I'll, it'll, 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 it'll jog again. Oh, no. <laughs> You'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Justice League actor Ray Fisher slams Joss Whedon for inappropriate behavior on set. Now, Ray Fisher is the guy that plays Cyborg. Yep. Uh, Josh Whedon is uh, the producer, director? Director. Director. Okay, so for inappropriate behavior on set. Now, what were these inappropriate actions? I tried to find it. I couldn't see it. Yeah, I couldn't find like what the actual incidents were. Yeah. I just saw him say, oh, he's a dick, and then goose. Yeah. It's very that's general. The short of it, um, I don't know if that's grounds for a headline, but well, it is in the in the midst of how the world is right now. Man. I mean, how the world is, but if you don't come up with something specific, if you're saying that the director was an asshole, yeah, yeah, what does that say? It, whether he just pushed you harder than you're accustomed to, right? Wow. Like that could be asshole behavior. Like, what are you saying? Like, um, like no one else from this movie has come forward and said, "Hey, this nigga was, you know, just being." An asshole the whole time that we was on said he was making us do this, that, and the third, and now I feel some type of way. So now I'm gonna be alluded to. But also, no one else is black, so you know, there's, 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 there's that. Yeah. And the other thing too, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Ray Fisher was a stage actor. I don't know. This might have been his first movie, but I could I could be wrong about that, so I won't die on that hill. Point being is that some all the other actors pro- have been in the movie system before, maybe. So even if he was being, maybe that's just how directors are. And so to them, to them, it's like, eh, old hat. But to him, it's a new experience. And it's like, right on the stage, the directors aren't probably talking to you the same way he was. He was probably doing it, so he could, hmm. you know, not be used to it. I mean, if it was just solely to him, I get it. But if yeah. it was like this, how he treated everybody, everybody. That said men, women, black, white, whatever the fuck then you have no dog in this fight. But also, that being said, you shouldn't treat people like shit. Uh, just I mean, you if <laughs> you shouldn't treat people like shit, you're correct. Just because you if can. This is, if this is just to get the best out of someone for the movie, and I'm pushing you harder than I get. Like, this is uh, to, to me, because I want to I want to believe him when he says that he was an asshole. He was just being like, just outright, just mean whatever but it's just like when like a coach has like a certain like player on his team and he feels like yeah. he's pushing him too hard it was like yo coach is a dick he making me do all this shit all these workouts all these suicides and running all these drills and shit but m- maybe coach is just pushing you to be the best that you can be in this movie yeah. like we, we need to hear some other accounts i was like a michael jordan ass nigga yeah, yeah. Like that, where it's like, yo, I'm I'm just pushing you because I want to win. I want to do good. I want to do the best that we can. Or I, I I just need some other accounts. I, mean, I, I don't want to say that I don't believe you know all men, or I don't I don't believe him when he says this shit. Like in, in case it's something else, but I'm just saying that I need more accounts that he treated everybody like this. If this was, if this was you being like a man or just a black person. Then we got a case, but if it's just like he treated everybody on set like this, I, I just I, I just need more counts. Yeah. So this is his only film credit as uh, Cyborg. Um, he's only been in those, and then two other TV shows: True Detective for like eight episodes, and then one episode of some Astronaut Wives, Wives Club. That's all I can find on Wikipedia. So right. this might be him not being used to being in the film system, and maybe. Yeah. Him treating him a certain way is not what he's accustomed to working in the theater. Right, right, right. So it could be that. Or he could just be a dick. <laughs> he might be right. He's like, yeah, he really a dick. I mean, Ben Affleck said he almost drove himself to alcoholism. Was it because of Joss Weed and shit? Or is it more professional just to keep shut? Maybe. Who knows? I mean, we, mm. I, we, we don't know because we're not there and no one's talking besides Ray Fisher and he hasn't 
gay particulars. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, and last but not least, 20-year-old Julian Bass uh, caught the eye of Disney's Bob Iger for an epic, from, from an epic TikTok video. So for those who don't know, uh, there's been this video going around on Twitter, Instagram, and probably TikTok more famously is that um, this black kid, he's in like some room in his house and he's showcasing his favorite superhero. So he, fe- so he showcases uh, him, himself as a Jedi, Lightsaber. himself as a Ben 10, and then yep. himself as Spider-Man. Yep. And it's just like this perfectly cut TikTok video. But and, I... And, I what? think he did the CGI stuff on it, right? Isn't yeah, that what yeah. he did? He did the special effects stuff. I think that's what the the main yeah, thing so, is. So yeah, so he did all the all the special effects on the shit, and then uh, he put it on where where I saw it first. I saw it on Twitter. Where Twitter, was, me too. Please retweet this so the execs at Disney see this, and then Bob Iger responds, and then he you know re- he he replies to his tweet saying something, and then. Um, Julian says this is just the beginning. So initially he has the attention of Disney because Bob Iger is Disney. Now, um, I wanted to ask, is he giving this attention to this kid because he's black or because he's good at what he's done or, 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 or what, or what he's shown us so far? Yes. <laughs> what, <because he's> black? <laughs> I, honestly, I think it might be a combination of both. It's a good look. Yeah uh pr wise mm-hmm. right this kid on the internet reached out and oh shit and he happens to be black and it's cool to be support black people now and then maybe there's some talent there that he recognizes so it could be all those things mm-hmm. there's no way for us to know because we're not there right but definitely i say it's I a yes say. and a no mm-hmm. well why yes and a no because it was pretty damn good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was pretty it damn was, good. It was, a, it was a flawless time TikTok where it was just repeats in the, in the recess to, like at a perfect time. You know, yeah. the, uh, the, uh, the animation in it was good. But it's just like, this is right place, right time. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, shout out to him. Shout out to Julian. You know, or, if he actually gets a job at Disney or, or works with Disney or something. On project, it worked. You know, I just hope that work. I just hope that works for more people in the uh, future. Where it's like, hey, I put out this uh, piece of art. Hopefully, y'all retweeted and y'all fuck with it um, that much that y'all just retweeted and it gets to the people that's supposed to get to. I mean, shout to Julie. Sure. All I can say. Um, anything else happened? Any more topics? Anything else? No, I think that's nope. it. Okay. All right. So picks, man. What we got for picks? Oh no, wait. We got an interview. Yeah, we got an interview. <laughs> so um, we have, uh, you know, returning guest on the show. We have a uh, nerdcore rapper. We have Player One, a.k.a. Mark Cooper, coming through. He has an album that is out today, today, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go ahead and uh, talk to him right quick. All right, so Three Ninjas Podcast, Domino Hess Jones, Bobby. And as of right now, if you're watching on YouTube with your Oculus right now, you can see that we have a guest in our midst in our dojo album is out right now today called Test Drive. We have motherfucking Mark Cooper in the dojo. Mark hey, yeah. How you uh, doing? Good. Can't complain. You know that. <clears throat> How's everything? How are you holding up in the Roniverse? How is everything in Detroit? Good, man. Detroit's just is the same as it usually is. Dangerous. Gunshots is rolling. Yeah, probably so. Mm. There's probably a gang out there named Rona. I don't know yet. Mm. Yo, that'd be dope as shit. Yo, we kill shit. Rona. <laughs> we kill shit, Rona. Yeah, it's make not... it an acronym or something like real only something. I don't know. <laughs> real only niggas in here. <laughs> that, that's in here is you know what has real cool. nigga. Well, well, uh. Real original niggas active. Yeah. <laughs> Rona. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark Cooper has an album out today called Test Drive. Now, why is it called Test Drive? Because it's the third project of um, the Player One series. So if you follow Player One, the All Spark, Test Drive's the next thing where I literally go into a different genre and merge into that. So it's just like, you know, a new type of album and it's a test drive. Okay. All right, so 17 tracks. Now, 
how many how many tracks are uh actual music and how many are skits? I think I think it's like three skits on there, four skits on there. About three skits and uh, sixteen tracks. So yeah, about three skits. Okay, do you think you gave them enough? Because a, a lot of niggas nowadays is doing like EPs where it's like eight songs, seven songs. You know, a lot of people ain't putting out really full length projects. Do you feel like you did too much? You gave them enough? Like what? No, it's perfect, man. The perfect 16. I'm part of the older aesthetic stuff. So since it's got a little bit of the older side, I like to give people a full album anyway. Mm-hmm. So that's the way I run with it. Okay. Now, uh, you do nerdcore hip hop. Now, for those that didn't catch your uh, first interview that you had with us, what is essentially nerdcore hip hop? Nerdcore hip hop is like a, a sub genre using hip hop, but it's more focused on like nerd based. So, anime, video games, cartoons, etc. It's just topics just uh, focused on that. Okay. Now, do you think that you're reaching your full potential while doing nerdcore hip hop? Do you feel like you can do more? outside of that genre or do you feel like you know this is what i like this is what i want to do well this is what i like and uh this is what i really do i can reach out to all those other things but the trick is to be able to not just necessarily make it nerdcore make it something that's cohesive for for the you know for the vast majority everybody mm-hmm. knows who spongebob is everybody knows who batman is you know what i mean mm-hmm. so if i'm already you know making it cohesive music where anybody can enjoy it i mean you know the possibility is endless you know Okay. Now, do you go into it knowing what references you're going to use for what song or does it just come up when you hear the beat like a like a another rapper where it's like, oh, I hear the beat. This is the subject genre I'm going to go with. Or do you just know offhand like, hey, I'm going to talk about these subjects, these uh, nerddoms in this song. Like what what's the what's the process? I want to say it's a little bit of both, man. Um Sometimes when I get into particular like conceptual albums and things like that, what I like to do is just be like, okay, I'm going to kind of keep it in this particular aesthetic and then just, you know, like everything themes together. So for example, you know, this theme was like 80 stuff, Mm -hmm. just a little bit. So what I did is I kind of went with the aesthetic of how I produce to the types of topics I talk about and just kind of cohesively put them all together. So it just really depends on it because I even do something like that and I'll go into anime do something like with My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z, et cetera. And they're things that, you know, all correlate for what I do in my music anyway, but mm-hmm. I try to make them relatable in an overall big concept, other than it just being, a you know, a slew of tracks that you see normally on YouTube now. Okay. Now, is it hard to incorporate, I guess, these different, like, <laughs> fandoms in your, in your raps when you trying to make a song? Because, you know, if you... If you stick with something like Dragon Ball Z, you know, you got to make all the references. You got to, you know, put stuff in there that people know. Is it hard to do that when you? No. Nah. Um, the, the only reason why it's not difficult is because I'm not wiki rapping, if that makes sense, <laughs> which is which is a term where individuals will make a rap because of it's a popular trend. Like, for example, they'll look at Demon Slayer and be like, oh, that's a new anime out. So they'll go to Wikipedia and do like a good, <laughs> you know, paraphrase <laughs> of what the character is. And then they'll make a rap about it using that. And it's like, well, okay, you told me Demon Slayer. All right. Um, I watched the show. I know what the character's about. Mm-hmm. And they just leave it at that. But it's it's just that kind of thing. But since I grew up with Dragon Ball Z or I grew up with Naruto, or if I'm a fan of something, if I'm a mm-hmm. fan of whatever I'm rapping about, I have an easier time than when I have no idea about it. Okay, but have you ever done the thing where you wiki rap? <laughs> just, wiki rap. just because it's like a cool thing right now, but it might not might not be something that you're necessarily into. Well, I've done it in, in ciphers when individuals wanted me to jump in a particular cipher with it. I don't particularly go into it that much. Hmm. But when I do my solo particular projects and stuff, no, I don't. Okay. Now, I noticed on a lot of your projects, you don't collaborate with a lot of people. Is that on purpose? Or is that, you know, something that just doesn't work out with the song? Or like, what happens? Well, the thing is, it's like, you know, it's always fitting in the genre too. So you always got to try to find individuals who, you know, kind of, fit in the same pocket that you do. Like I went a little bit more in test drive with certain people that are out of that genre, you mm. know, that can do it. But at the same time with player one and the all spark, I was trapped in the game by myself. So I had to keep the aesthetic that I was by myself until yeah. I got to, you know, the the destination of this album, which we'll see the final album, Gerald's Field, be a lot of features because I'll be at 
where I'm supposed to be. So I kind of made that aesthetic on purpose with the album series. So I went really story in it. So I'm a nerd in the continuity and it makes sense. Okay, because, you know, we had a, you know, early listen of the album. And I don't want to spoil what happens at the end and shit, but, you know, that kind of, yeah. you know, leads to something else and all that. Right. Now, is there anyone in the blurred rap community that you want to work with? Well, a lot of people I have worked with, like I've worked with Six Seconds before years ago. I would definitely like to work with him again. Hmm. I've already worked with Game Boy Jones, Mega Ran, um, Richie Branson will probably be on the list. Um, there's there's quite a few that's out there um, that's more and more in the community. I don't know if you've seen the Pokemon Cypher, the Pokemon Rap Cypher. The one on YouTube? Yeah. They got like yeah, I saw 20, that one, yeah. They got like 28 of them. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's a lot of those guys out there. Ironically, um, before Rona hit, I was supposed to be at MomoCon to be in that next Pokemon Cypher. But, you know, since we can't do it, that's what happened. But, mm-hmm. yeah, there's, there's quite a few out there that are interesting. So I just, you know, keep my eyes open. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, how has Rona affected you? Because it's fucked up the whole world, you know, and, you know, us as nerds, we can't go to conventions, you know, we can't do the things that we love. Most people just complain about not going outside and not going to the beach or some shit. But, you know, us being as nerds, we can't go to conventions, we can't, you know, see other nerds, we can't, you know, be amongst our people and and amongst our brethren. So, like, how has Rona affected you? Well, it's affecting me in like ways to understand like, damn, you can't go to this and can't do that and all that stuff. And I love concert conventions, but you would think, you know, because of me being in that nerd genre and me performing at conventions, like, you know, what would I naturally do? Yeah. But what it was able to teach me is that I needed to thoroughly understand, you know, what it takes to push out the brand the best way I could. So mm-hmm. what I did is I just focused on you know, more of the content, more types of beats, kind of sit down and, you know, literally, you know, do every nick and cranny when it comes to, you know, building a brand. So mm-hmm. I've been, you know, just making sure I got all the other stuff, you know, in place. So when 2021 comes in, I'm not walking in there like, oh, okay, so what am I going to do this year? Just, you know, just preparing for the future. It's the only way you can really do it. Right. Now, how long has this album been done? I want to say about maybe a month and a half. Okay, so so you recorded some of this post Rona. Yeah. Okay. Now, how many songs were done previous to Rona? I want to say um, the thing is with Test Drive, it was always supposed to be an EP at first. Mm-hmm. But since Gerald's Field is so much bigger, I combined and did two EPs in the same album. Okay. So, so when you heard the album, that's why you heard the difference of the split. Yeah, I noticed that, and I was going <laughs> to ask you about that. So now, why? Because, I, because I remember, because at the end of the day, like by the time it'll be out, so you can go yeah. and do what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, why do that? Why not? You know, like I said, everyone, you know, in this Ronaverse is, you know, they're pretty much, you know, have a low attention span. So why not put out the EP with like a part one or part two or just, you know, whatever you want to do? Why put out so many songs at once and not just do two EPs? Well, the reason why I did it is um, I'll let you know in the album. Have you noticed in the album where after each song, it had one, two, three, four, things like that. And it'll be yeah. like a word at the end of the album. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's a message that you can read backwards and forwards. I ain't even think to do that. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's an it's actual decoder message backwards and forwards. So oh, it's the rest of some shit. I thought you were just spitting out shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah, it's just about being nerdy and things like that and having fun with it. Uh, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to go into the synth wave genre to just, you know, mm. just kind of show it off. That's why I collab with uh, Runaway Droid and Ace Buchanan. They're both artists from Finland. The guitarists mm. from Finland. Finland. But, mm. Yeah, so they do that aesthetic and everything. Um, like, that's why I reached out to Ray that does the guitars for uh, for Screw Attack and One Minute Melee on Toys R Us Kids. Um, it's just really about just trying to change the way you listen to an album. See, the thing is, a lot of people's EPs, it's just a group of songs that they didn't put on another project sometimes. Right, right. There's no, you know, there's no correlation. And since I listen to, you know, concept albums and stuff like from the Lupe to Logic to M and everybody, you know, having a conceptual album is the reason why it kind of engages people to listen. 
And since it's got two sides of the project, now it's, I'm attacking two audiences at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So by combining all those things together, it'd be like, wow, that's neat. Wow, that's cool. And that's why I, what I did with the skits and I did with the podcast stuff too. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's different things to pay attention to in the album. And so it's not just you got everything on the first listen. And that's mm -hmm. the point of making concept albums. Yeah, make sure you check out Shack 3. Um, now, um, has Corona made you more creative in this, you know, when you have to stay home and then, you know, essentially you have nothing to do. So the only thing to do is either, you know, chill and relax or just, you know, tap into that creative side. So, yeah. yeah. It's got it's got his hands into it for sure because not only that I've been coming out with beat tapes every single month this year right. along with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So you know different kind of beat tapes like Saturday Morning Cartoons Volume Four, and then Insert Credits where it's just the eight bit video game beats and stuff and television shows. Like it's always you know triggered my creativity, but it was one of those things. It's like personally to be honest, um, right before Rona, I got um. I got laid off at my job because they didn't have any more work or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I caught it before even Rona even came by. Right. So I was already in that position where I was like, okay, so, you know, you prayed for time because you felt like you never had enough time. Now you got it. What you're going to do. So I took advantage of that and I decided to really put fruition of what I really wanted to do. So once I was able to have the gears moving and things like that, it was nothing to stop it at that point. So that's what I was able to do. So it was kind of like a blessing in disguise type of thing. Exactly. Okay. You know, because that's, that's happened with a lot of people. You know, a lot of people have been laid off and they've, been, they've either been taking the approach of, you know, if I'm laid off, I'm going to do what I've always wanted to do, whether it was to start a business, write a book, start a podcast, whatever the fuck. Or some people's like, you know what? I've been working so hard. I'm going to just sit around on my ass and not do shit. Exactly. So, so you did the opposite. You're like, you know what? I'm going to take this time. I'm going to create some. I'm going to create some music. You know, I'm going to make the most of this. Yep. Now, now, you've been laid off. Now, do you plan on, I guess, getting back to a nine to five job? Or are you going to put all your, your all into, like, I guess, this rap thing? Because now you have the most free time. Well, personally, I've always believed in the nine to five anyway. You always uh -huh. want to have some kind of stability where it doesn't make it a situation where the music is your livelihood because sometimes you grow to hate it. You know what I mean? You'd never want something that you're passionate about to grow to hate something. Cause that's just not, not, you know, that's not the way, but I will say that, you know, even going from college and things of that nature and understanding where, you know, where I really want to be, mm -hmm. it's good to be able to have, you know, the training information. That's why I take online classes now to get certification. So because at the end of the day, you know, when you go back in that job market, there's 4 million people that's trying to figure out the jobs that you're trying to get. Yeah. So, yeah. so be as much prepared as possible. So if an opportunity does come up, you'll be able to present yourself well and get into a better position. So that's what I'm looking at. Just take the time to just feel like it's a hyperbolic time chamber and make yourself as best as you can and, and go for it when it's time. Mm hmm Okay, yeah. now the objective position to that is if you're if you, if you have a plan B, how serious do you take plan A? I take plan A super serious, and that's definitely music for sure. But I am one of those individuals who make sure I have a setup of a plan B, the foundation plan A. Mm -hmm. So I believe in that. You know what I mean? Like just like anything else, you can be a shooter on the court all the time, but if you don't have an option to pass the ball. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes it harder for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Now, now, ultimately, where do you want to take this? Like, is it just, you know, something that you do for fun? Is it something that you want to take serious? You want to do, like, you know, to, well, you can't, you can't tour right now, shit, because, you know, Rona. Rona. But, you know, is, is it something that you want to, you know, take to, you know, stadiums and, you know, cons? And, like, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the ultimate plan? Well, to be honest, man, um it would be go on a higher level when it comes to that, like um, being able to perform at, you know, arenas and things like that. I've already did a tour uh, last year. So I performed at cons and conventions and stuff. Right. And I'm, I'm getting to those particular points. I want to be able to tour the world with it, you know, be able to do a convention in Japan or in the UK, things like that. Meet up with a lot of, um, you know, of my heroes and stuff like that. Cause originally I just wanted to visit every con in the world just to have that bucket list of experience in it. 
you know, meeting heroes you never got a chance to meet, you know, because believe it or not, our era of people are they're getting old, man. Mm-hmm. So we want to make sure that we can meet those individuals. I'm still sick. I never got to meet Stan Lee, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. man. But it's like one of those kind of things, just capturing nostalgia and just enjoying, you know, what we normally do. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's fucking running and fucked up a lot of shit for people. It's, it's, yeah, dude. You know, you know, the cons was the biggest thing for me because, you know, I was looking forward to going to Blur Con. I was looking forward to possibly going to New York Comic Con. Maybe it's like some other cons, but, you know, it's just like the world as it is right now is just not having. Now we're doing everything virtually. Have you done any concerts virtually or like attempted to? Yeah, I have. Uh, <laughs> my, yeah, I definitely how, have. What? How is it? It's actually, um, it's weird, man. It's like, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, when I say player, you say one and nobody says nothing. Uh, that, that, that shit is weird, dude. <laughs> like, 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 All right, type it. <laughs> so type it. <laughs> it was in the chat. It so was right. in the chat. Right. Oh, my God, man. But the thing is about it, it's just like almost doing like a Facebook Live and you're rapping off it. But the cool thing about it is now you got the ability to engage with other individuals. You also have like a video portfolio. So if a label or A&R was looking at your performance value, they can see that. It just really depends on, you know, what you do afterwards. Just making Mm -hmm. sure that all your social media stuff makes sense. Because then you just be performing for air. Right. So that's just, you know, it's one of those kind of things where you just got to be cool. Now, if this is the new norm, where you know people have to do stuff digitally or virtually now can an artist like you thrive in this format of course if anything we can thrive a little bit more than the average artist now Mm -hmm. because now we have now we have something going on you know what i'm saying it's not like i'm rapping and did not bring in two girls to twerk in the video be like you know what was the the concept (laughs) now i can do green screen backgrounds and i can make conceptual based things in the show i can i can be more creative on that particular level and the fact that i play games and Mm. you know watch anime doing nostalgic cartoon things and things like that there's a lot of things i can do at Mm. this point because now anything that anybody remembers visually is now in front of you and i'm making music about it Mm -hmm. so it's almost like all right i see this guy rapping that's cool but when they see like, oh, he's mentioning Rugrats, he's mentioning blah, blah, blah. I know what he's talking about. And it's more of an engaging situation. In nerd, then we like to be entertained, but we like to be, we like to know what the fuck you're talking about too. Definitely. So with anybody else, and what's great about mine, just the saying it, is that I don't, I don't swear on my music. So my music is available for all ages. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I have fan, you know, fans that like anywhere between like five to 80. Because of the fact that it isn't like that. They'll be like, oh, I remember Star Trek. I remember watching that when I was a teen. Or they'll be like, oh, I, you know, I remember, Sp- you know, like SpongeBob and Nickelodeon and stuff like that. Kids enjoy that stuff. Mm. So it's just opening the market to anything. So once you do that, it's like, okay, there's nothing you can do wrong at that point. So you're like the Will Smith, like this blurred shit. <laughs> right? Yeah, basically, <laughs> but, but less clean, you know. Let's so, so, so that was a conscious thing from jump or was that something that you kind of like adapted to over time? It was, it was something I adapted to over time. My mom was the first person to tell me my music was whack. So, <laughs> so, so yeah, that was God, like, oh, that was like in when I started, like when I started. Hmm. So, um, after that, she was like, you know, I understand you want to do the music thing, but you know, if you want to try making an album and only swearing six times, just give it a shot. Uh-oh. And then the rest, and then the rest was history after that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Force to be more creative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could never do that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I try to make it out like first song, fuck shit ass bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Boats and hoes. Boats and hoes. Got two more on this EP. <laughs> <laughs> like, right. You're not gonna be able to do it. Shit. Now, um, <laughs> you said that uh, test drive is basically two separate EPs smashed into an LP. So now, what was your mindset making one half, and what was your mindset making the other half? Because the other half, I'm fucking with. Mm-hmm. First half, cool. Second half, I'm fucking with. What yeah. was you in with both of them? Well, here's the thing, man. Um, I've always been a fan of the 80s aesthetic. 
like growing mm. up. So that's the Running Man, that's the Rockies, that's all that. I just love that heavy synth over, you know, mm. like Phil Collins drums. I like the grit. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I like about it. And then the best stories always, you know, anything that's epic. For some reason, the best stories are told over beats like that. Yeah. Right. So you be feeling we saw oh shit, this is about to happen, blah, 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 blah. But it was a genre I always wanted to do. And those, mm-hmm. those and, beats uh, are like I, timeless. Like it, it's a song that uh it's so it was on Top Gun, Tom Cruise, like Take yep. My Breath Away. That shot mm-hmm. that should never get sold. <laughs> never. Or Danger Zone, yeah. Yeah. Danger Zone. <laughs> right, you always remember it. Danger Zone. So I wanted to do that because it's the test drive. So all I can think about in the driving scene is 80s aesthetic, like drive. And then that's why it's called Fluck the Phantom Focus, but it's based off of Kit the Night Rider. So it's like a car that talks back with me. And then that's why I'm going on the way to Gerald's Field is what, you know, what the gist of it is. Mm. So that's why I had podcast stuff in between stuff. Because mm. then it looked like, because he said it's major radio, you know, yeah. you'll be a major problem. You change the station. So that's <laughs> right. why when it got the news break and he was like, I'm here because somebody fucked up. Mm. <laughs> so that way I can, you know, put everything all together. So that's what I was trying to do to make the the driving experience of it. So when I got to Gerald's field, now that's proving grounds type stuff. So mm. that's like the 120 stars as heroes. That's, that's action when I'm rapping about eighties movies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's why I went on that side. So I was like, okay, we got the journey part. Now let's get to the rap shit. And that's basically what you would have, you know, been with that. That's why I did it. Okay. Now on any of these tracks, were you in love? Like you was feeling <laughs> somebody? Something happened? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to play this and hopefully it come through good. This song is my shit. You know? <laughs> what, the what it takes to want love or whatever? Yeah. This is my shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is she? What nerd does she like? What happened? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny, dog. Like, like I've written that record just thinking about just, you know, it, it was just an inspiration. Somebody was in the room, I was like, I got what it takes to love. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like one of those kind of deals. Now, does she know it's about her? <laughs> she may. She, she, got, she got a little bit of, you know, she, got she little... might have some hints in there, you know. <laughs> sure. I fuck yeah. with that. <laughs> now, <laughs> <laughs> now um sky god what was the ins- inspiration behind that okay now sky god was the individual who would have the left-handed power glove um right. that's um an artist named prowess the testament she's also on the action be rapping with me mm. and uh she does nerd content too right out of dc she's out where you guys are at like in, okay. in that area so um the thing is Sky God is one of those black exploitation based, um, you know, stories back in, I believe in the seventies. I hope I don't get it wrong. She'll kill me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, she actually has a project called the sky God. So it's just about like a, like a sexual mistress, things like that in the story. So it's pretty cool. I'll definitely link you to it, but I like the actual, there's a part in the song that I really like the, you know, the instrument of. Uh-huh. So I asked her, I said, Hey, you know, is it possible I could see that loop for that? And she was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So I made it like Dear Sky God, and it was it just sounds like a like a you know a strawberry letter kind of thing, kind of writing it out. Uh-huh. It, was like a, it was like one of those kind of beats where it's like, it's got a Griselda feel because there's no drums or anything in it, mm. but it allows you to pay attention, but it's a soothing pay attention kind of thing. So, okay. I went, so I went and explained what happened when I got to Gerald's film. Like, it's just like, this is some bullshit anyway. <laughs> that I just mm-hmm. got here for no reason kind of deal. Like like the main cliffhangers of the album and things like that. So it's when I got a chance to just meet up with her, which is why I set up the intro that way. So that was kind of the angle to go. Okay. Now, does the left-hand power glove actually exist, or is it, was there only a right-hand one? Because There was only a right-handed one. The That's left hand does so, not exist. He was so talking to me like you found it. Did he find this shit? <laughs> now you get both. You get both is sweet. That's why you need the left handed. That's why I was saying that, you know, try to pitch it in and be like, okay, the all spark is the glove. Okay, we get it. But then you'd be like, so if you got the all spark already, uh, why aren't you out of there? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I had to make sure that they knew that 
you know, this is the real deal. Like the real game is test drive. Yeah. You know what I was thinking? Um, is that the actual voice actor, the Mordecai? No. <laughs> Uh, but, the, right, but, the, but the funny <laughs> thing is, it's one guy that did all those voices. Oh, so it's not really Goku? It's not really Sean Jamel and none of them? Nah. Uh, but, oh, however, <laughs> how, however, though, however, yeah. um, David Fielding is in the album, though. The yeah. voice of Zordon, he yeah. is in the album. I was that fooled. Is- <laughs> I was fooled. I was. I, I was would, listening I to it. Do, I wouldn't do you guys like yeah, that. Yeah, but I was listening <laughs> to it. I was like, damn, this would be a really good. It would be a really good TV show, like on uh, some Adventure Time shit, with the music and everything. Because the the way you had it structured, it was like um, albums not like that no more. And that's one of my gripes with albums. That's why I don't fuck with them because they sound like mixtapes. But right. yours, like I was just sitting in the car, like, damn man, this should, <laughs> this should make me think of like uh, things yeah. like Steven Universe mm-hmm. in Adventure Time along the time like that. I was like, damn, if this was in a TV show, it 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 would be a good actual show the way you word it up. Yeah, but the thing mm. is about it is that I had the ability to get those particular ones. But the thing is, I would have ran the copyright infringement because they own their voices. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing. So I wanted to make sure I kept the aesthetic for what it is. So if they just enjoy it for what it is, it's cool. You know, I'd be like, wow, that's awesome. Like, you know, if if I did have a conversation with Goku, what would he say? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's just... It's just that aesthetic is for the people who are, like, super fans of that and hearing the album for that. You know, it's just keeping the magic. You know, I mean, I worked for Disney for six years, so all we do is try to make sure you can make it as, you know, imaginable as possible. So that's why I kind of did in the album. There's stuff I always wanted to do. So it's just, you know, sometimes getting, an, you know, getting those voices to say, because I wrote the scripts and everything too. So mm-hmm. by putting it all together and all that stuff, people will really, you know, just enjoy it for what it is. And that's kind of why I want to experience the album stuff. So when you got the Green Ranger to do that shit, you wrote all that shit that he said. I sure did. <laughs> now, what was that process of getting him to do the album? I asked. That, that was it. You just right. That was it. Hey, yo, Tommy, let me uh, ask you a question. Hey, yo, Tommy. Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Through the flute in that shit. Yeah, that's where you at. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just a matter of just asking and then um, understand what your situation is and just, you know, making sure that you ask them correctly. You don't mm-hmm. just be like, yo, bro, I really want you on the blah, blah, blah. You know, I've, I've met them before, you know, mm-hmm. in certain things and things like that. And they heard the Green Ranger song I made for them, so it mm-hmm. kind of worked. Okay. Now, you, you used to do the uh, the uh, songs that you used to put on uh, Instagram and shit. What happened to those? Like, you, you did it for, like, a cool, maybe, like, two months or so, and then, like... Oh, the like, Mark Cooper Monday stuff? Yeah, Mark Cooper actually, Monday. Stuff. Actually, all those records were all album, all songs that are already released. Oh, okay. So they're all on, like, All Spark and, and Player One and things like that. So I was releasing them all then with the lyric videos and stuff. But since the, um, since the album is coming, I'm getting ready to put that and then it'll start up again. Okay. Yeah. Now, on the uh, next project, is this nigga finally going to get out the fucking realm? Like, what else does he need? Like, the Tesseract, the Omnitrix? The, the... <laughs> nah, nah, this is the last one. This what is... else does he need to get out this motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It, Gerald's feels the last album for uh, the completion. That'll be exactly a year from now. So July 9th, 2021. Okay, now, do you have albums planned beyond that? Like, do you have a whole, like series planned in your head of albums that you want to do and subject well, like that? <laughs> well I mean I know you guys so I, I guess I'll, I'll say what I'm going to do um, in October I'm dropping a uh, a small EP I haven't told anybody about it you guys will be the first to hear it exclusive, exclusive. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly um, this year's the 35th anniversary of the NES oh shit yeah. oh, no. it's been 35 yep October 16th 1985 <laughs> So I got an EP with Nintendo based project coming wow. out here next time. Ooh. I feel like that shit was yo, the fucking Nintendo is a Libra, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Libra too. That shit was born for me. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> right. So now what's gonna consist on this EP? Is it all like Nintendo references? Is it shit that we might not get if we born past a certain era? Like what? No, I mean, I'm going to keep an NES, like, just to, you know, learn the small bits about it. Mm-hmm. But I am, but it's going to be some, going to be some really dope stuff, man. Um, I'm keeping it in the 8-bit era of particular mm-hmm. beats and stuff, but it's not going to be that, that uh, over-the-top, super hi-hat dash. And the, 
and it literally like you know out of control sometimes but no mm-hmm. so if it's gonna be something that's gonna be really cool um a lot of people are gonna relate with it i may merge into super nintendo with it i'm just kind of in a debate about it but in another fucking world god damn yo. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it dog man you gotta be sweet. how the fuck you, you gonna get out of donkey kong nigga <laughs> Jumping over barrels like everybody else did. <laughs> <laughs> I think a jump man had a hard time with that shit. <laughs> right. Now, do you ever worry about, um, I guess, oversaturating people with the with the references of the video games and the anime and the nerdums? Do you ever feel like that you might lose some people when you do it every song or do it too much? Nah. The only reason why I say that is because it's just about fitting the aesthetic for it. Like the way I write is I don't necessarily be the person who literally be like, all right, Dragon Ball Z, 87 references. Like, I mean, I know for the fact that I rap before I started to be really, you know, content heavy, I know the difference between, you know, overdoing it or whatever. I like to use the nerd references to, you know, to, to relate to anybody else. You know what I mean? Don't catch me slipping banana peel, Mario Kart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like doing stuff like that or, or be like, you know, if I'm if I'm first, you're after me like a blue shell. You know, just like so people can understand what I'm saying is cohesive enough. See, that's that's what it is. There's a lot of people who try to do the nerd stuff and they literally basically tell me a story about what I already fucking know. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like, bro, I know Sonic runs fast, bro. I, 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 I got 30 years experience. I appreciate Being it. Like extra <laughs> specific. <laughs> Yeah, yeah just, also to play, nigga, right. just to be the nigga that, that that tries to rhyme like Wolf Fang Fisk and Destructo Disc. Don't be that nigga. <laughs> oh, that's a bar, though. Wolf Fang, yeah. <laughs> that's a bar, though. <laughs> Talk about. Uh, it's flavor. I'm, 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 I'm mad. That was sweet, no. though. No. Can I get on the album? <laughs> Next album, yo. Can I get on the album? You already on the album. I'm talking about rapping, nigga. I want to rap, nigga. <laughs> We'll see, bro. Ooh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a no. I, I, I got you. You ain't got it. <laughs> you ain't get the juice, kid. You ain't we'll got the what, juice, kid. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, now, um, so you're releasing a uh, EP in October with the NES. Are there any plans to, like, go further with, like, the SNES, the Nintendo 64? I'll probably, like- make, those, I'll probably make those, like, anniversary projects. You know, like when when those systems actually drop, and the thing is, these EPs are literally just like five records. Like it's not anything. Yeah, it's not anything. Super, like, not nothing super intensive. Not really story driven. It's just you know, just paying homage to what I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, is there anything else that we should know about the album that we don't know about the album? Anything that you want to tell us? Any tidbits? Any like secret things that we need to know? Any behind the scenes things that we need to know? Anything that's interesting? Okay. Well, I will let you know that in Test Drive, I do reveal Major's last name, and it's a uh, label. Mm. <laughs> Major label. I'm trapped in a game called Nerdcore mm-hmm. by an enemy called Major, Major label. label. Okay. So what does that allude to? In other words, what I'm telling you is that, remember how you said, do you feel like that you're in a box with this and you would think you want to expand Right, other genres and stuff. Uh-huh. Well, I wrote a whole album concept about it. Okay. <laughs> so now, going to Gerald's field is uh-huh. where everybody else is. Got you. All right. So now, so now we getting into she different. She did. She so did. Now- <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> So now, are we? Uh, so are you saying that you're straying? That that you're starting to stray away from? the nerdcore aspect and getting into just, into just more hip hop or is it just like what are you combining it to like what what what's happening okay so long story short what i'm saying is is that it's not i'm writing the concept about what it feels like to be inside the box but at the same mm-hmm. time it's like how you feel about being a nerd in public so i okay. kind of combine both of those aesthetics together Mm-hmm. So now I make it as an after Gerald's field. And when you find out at the end and I get out of the game, essentially, it also lets people know that, you know, it doesn't matter about what kind of box you in. You just be yourself. And that's the whole point. Okay. So if you see in the album that if you I mean, just following, I know it's Easter eggs and nerd shit. And I understand, <laughs> but I'll just tell you right. when, um, when Tommy calls me Mark Cooper, it doesn't mm-hmm. call me player one. Right. It's given the aesthetic that only Rangers really know the real names of the Power Rangers. Just mm-hmm. like when I said in player one, 
you know, using your real name could be used for, you know, people can know who you are too quick. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, I'm not player one, I'm Mark Cooper. Okay. And it's not just me being the name aesthetic. It's being who you are. And that's the basis of the entire album. Dope. Dope. So I can't, I can't wait for people to hear this shit. It's out today. Now, where's it available at? All stream platforms and Bandcamp as well. And then there'll also be vinyl and cassettes ready for it too. And then um, I don't have the flash drive with me. I got a flash drive with a key and I call it the key to the game. Mm. But it comes with uh, all the albums and um, all the other stuff in discography. Okay, so when can we pick up the cassettes and the vinyl? Because I definitely want a cassette, my nigga. Um, well, we go do the pre-orders on the ninth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we do the pre-orders on the ninth, and it probably should come in, like, in probably either August or September or something like that, determining how long the press-ups are. But then mm -hmm. we just mail it to you and everything, and you get some pretty cool stuff with it when you get it. So, Okay, do we get a glove? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You gotta, you gotta do player one condoms or something like that. Like, Yo, this, this is the glove. The condom could be the glove. I don't know. The aesthetic for the glove. God I don't damn. Cool. Just not if, 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 if everything if though gives me the bread, sure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, big pun did it. Shit. <laughs> you know. Nintendo gonna sue him so quick. You gonna oh, put yeah. an NES logo on, a, on, on somebody's. Oh, you know what I mean? I don't know. I try, my nigga, but. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everything don't work so it's Nothing. out right now so it's out on oh, apple it's shit. out on spotify it's out on fucking pandora it's out on all your dsps you know go stream that now go buy that support the homie mark cooper support nerdcore hip-hop support nerds all right? Say let's, crazy. all right what happened which is what i was about to say something crazy because you said the power glove condom i was gonna say so your penis be the power shot <laughs> come on man the zapper <laughs> yeah, the zapper <laughs> <laughs> See, man, this, this why we can't have nice things. <laughs> <laughs> to be yeah. luckily, uh, luckily, he listened to us and then he know the flagrant shit that we say. So, like, <laughs> you know. oh, yeah, I, I know. Yeah so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, Mark, thank you for coming on the show. Hope, hope the album does good. You know, we fuck with you. You know, thank you for fucking with us. Oh, yeah, True. for sure. You know, hope hope everything goes good. So, you know, next time, October, we, we want to talk to you again to talk about this NDS album. I got you. <laughs> All right. So, you know, other than that, you'll be easy, man. I'm right, for sure. All right, man. Peace. All right. All right. And that's our interview with Mark Cooper. Shout out to Mark Cooper. Like I said, album out today. And it's on, you can get it in your phone. It's somewhere on your phones. Probably in stores. I don't know. Mark all your DSPs. Yeah, on all, <laughs> all your DSPs. Shout out to Mark Cooper. Um, but um, picks, man. Now what we got for picks? Oh, you know. <laughs> you can't pick her. She, she's not a pick. <laughs> she. I mean, you know what? Go ahead. Do your thing. My pick is Tales of Vesperia. Uh, it's a Japanese <laughs> RPG. Um. Uh, <laughs> fuck me up because I was gonna say yeah. something funny. For real? Um, yeah, no, nah, I, I I think it originally came out in 2008. In 2019, they released a definitive edition, and I I was bored, so I brought it, and I just been playing that shit. Um, okay. Fun. It's on PlayStation 4 and Xbox and Switch. Okay. So you can get it wherever you want to get it from. Okay. Cool. Bob alive. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. All right. What's your pick? Um, Bruce Lee B Water. It's Bruce on B Water. Yeah, it's on ESPN Plus. Um, I think it's on demand too. I'm not sure. Yeah, it should be. It came on the regular ESPN, so it should be on uh ESPN de on, on demand. If I'm um, being honest, um, <laughs> the documentary itself is kind of it's kind of poorly done in a way. Maybe because I'm going up, coming off the Jordan doc, it's kind of like lackluster how they did it. Yeah. But I did learn something I didn't know about Bruce Lee, though. Like, well, I mean, you, you want to spoil that, too, or you want to leave it to the... To not spoil it, because they, they say it, like, right in the beginning, so... Edit. Like, <laughs> no, it's, it's not a spoiler. It's, oh, yeah, I know you can't spoil I've it, because it before. It's his life, and he's dead now. So yeah, 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 pretty much. It's not like but, it's a... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> huh? Go ahead. Yeah, it's like, uh, uh -huh. like uh, apparently... <laughs> Apparently, his father moved them 
from Hong Kong to the U.S. because he was getting into so many fights that uh-huh. he, they was afraid that he was going to get into gangs. So they shipped his ass to the U.S. with $100 in his pocket. Hmm. A lot of gang shit. Yeah, so that goes out to people who saying that Bruce Lee never been in a real fight. Apparently, this nigga's been in some fights so bad that he had father kicked him out of Hong Kong. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bruce Lee could have been the fucking Yakuza boss. <laughs> well, uh, maybe two different. Uh, oh no, different. no, no. Uh, triad. It'd be triad. Yeah, triad. Yeah. Okay, I'm y- sorry. Y- Yakuza is Japan. Yeah, Japan. I, I apologize to Asia. I, I apologize. Um, and my pick is Hamilton again. What the contract <laughs> to sign? It's on Disney Plus. Go watch Hamilton. Shit is amazing. Oh yeah, I meant to do that. That shit is amazing. I learned so much shit. Yo, bring back duels. Shoot <laughs> the in the fucking chest, man. <laughs> Bang back. I don't like you niggas. I challenge you to a duel. Let's do this shit. Oh, let's talk about it. I don't want to talk. About it. <laughs> Bang. Talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> you do that in Looney Tunes, huh? Nah, well, I think, it, I think it's a little different. Yeah, this, is like, this is like 1871 <laughs> or some shit. This is like the 1870s when niggas was doing duels. And like after 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 this nigga got killed, I think they outlawed them shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, you killing niggas, that's important, huh? God, <laughs> no, we can't have this shit. Yeah, don't there used to be duels in the Wild Wild West? Yeah, that was like... Jim West, really, Dust nigga. Rider, Rough Rider. <laughs> now nah, you don't want nada. None of this. <laughs> One of this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't say Wild Wild West and I can't think of that. Wild Wild West. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, um, anything else? Nah. No, I think that's, that's it. it. I think we didn't achieve some things. Okay. Hopefully, I, I don't get canceled. No, nah, you're good. I understand your point you're trying to make. Okay, cool. As long as you understand, I don't give a fuck about nobody else. All right, cool. I understand. So, <laughs> so uh, Ninja Vanish. We out of here.